Hi guys, Danny here, and today we're going to be playing This Bed We Made. The game takes account of all of your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate and the fates of others around you. Fuck. Proceed with caution. So it's like a, if you open something and then you leave it open, they'll probably notice. But I had to guess. Let me know about the audio. Uh oh. So this is me from the future, already dealing with the consequences of my actions. Come on now, miss. Let's keep moving. Can't turn my head any more than this. Okay. It was good. Good. Seems good. Okay. All right. It's on your right. Here. How do I? Okay, something's wrong. <laughs> okay, I can't turn any more than these two things. Do you see the hard wall I'm hitting? Maybe it's meant to be like this. Maybe this is a a fixed camera angle, and I'm I'm being ungrateful as fuck. Here we yeah. are. Yeah. Okay. I I think it was. I think it was a fixed camera angle. Good luck. She's all yours, sir. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Let's see. 21 years old, working at the Clarington for over a year. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. No father? No. It's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I need you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. Oh, shit! I'm gonna skip through everything. I'm just gonna try to put it back the way I found it, though. I'm just gonna get, like, the worst ending possible. But I'll know everything. <laughs> this is what I want from me. Is it super low? Audio's back low? Oh, vibes? Because I can turn it up. Done. Now just a bit of tidying up, and I can go on break. Inspect the Bible. <laughs> you see her turn around. I was like, "Yeah, that's what I want to inspect." Okay. I mean, I'm already snooping, but we have to put back everything the way it was. Okay. I'm just gonna say fuck it with the music and we're just gonna... Is that a gun? Oh, wait, is that a gun? Wait, how do I... Can, I... can I zoom in on stuff? That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved in? You know me. Wait, should I do the plain text? It's kind of smaller than the other text. You know my family. You've had a seat at our bar since the day we opened in 49. You're more than a friend to us. You're practically family. And while friends are polite to each other, family deserves more. Family deserves honesty. As such, I want to be as direct as possible in letting you know that you're down to your last chance. The $8,380 you owe us plus 25% interest is now eight months overdue. My patience has worn thin. This isn't like one of your unpaid bar tabs. You came to us for help and you always, oh, and help always comes at a price. We've opened our pockets to you time and time again. And all you've done is taken advantage of our goodwill and generosity. We'll come over in person to make our collection tomorrow. I'll be bringing along the boys so we can all sit down and have a little chat. But just so you know, they aren't too good, uh, too good with words. Okay. Wait. 
It's good? Audio, it's good? Hmm. Only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip? Maybe? So the person who has this room is in a little bit of money situation. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze through everything. Get game louder. It's a little bit too loud now. How about we pop it at like there? Okay. All right. I did like it in between of where it was. So let me know about that. Though nothing is happening right now. So. Okay, um, let's see here. Oh, the names are smudged off. Okay. Mayhew. Initial amount, 1500 Amount overdue, 3500 On the date of the initial loan, the lender agreed to lend an amount of money to the sum of 1500 to the borrower for an extended period of 12 months calculated from date of initial loan. Hmm. So, we don't have a name here. We just have Mayhew. Mayhew. Okay, anything else to sleep for before I, like, clean it up? <gasps> there was. Okay. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Maybe I'll do this. <laughs> Mapleson. Regret regretful as we are to have to resort to these lines of communication, our client and your neighbor, the owner of 88 32nd Street, has been ultimately evasive of our many attempts to reach out and collect our due debts, specifically an amount owed to the sum of, ooh, okay, $1,904.75. He has given us little recourse but to contact him through those in close proximity to him in the hopes that they can deliver a message on our behalf. We have little desire to disturb you and the other fine citizens of 32nd Street, but our business may bring us back to your neighborhood if it is not resolved quickly. The help of your kind community would be greatly appreciated for us and certainly for your neighbor. Kindly, Lucky Coin Financing. Mapleton. Okay. All right, so like this whole like street is kind of in a money issue. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to get out of this. I'm snooping. I am snooping. I am very nosy and this game is perfect for me. <gasps> Ooh. Hot beverages. I want some... Wait, ch the chocolate milk is a hot beverage? Would that not just be hot chocolate? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay. Get omelets. Oh, fuck. I keep hitting escape to get out of this because I think that's what it is in out of the way. That's the spiciest, my bad. Okay, don't forget. Put everything back the way it was so nobody knows I've been snooping. My frames? Frames? Wait, what? My frames are okay. <laughs> My frames are okay! Don't do this to me! My frames are fine! <laughs> Please! Can't open it. No, JK, okay. <laughs> okay. Ew, what is this saying? Oh. I... I I I almost lost my I almost lost my mind. In the bathtub, I want to do cleaning lat. Why do they have the mirror covered? That's interesting. Hmm. Let me look in here. Oh, I cannot. Okay, I guess I can put stuff back then. I'm guessing you've seen better days, but you're obviously still important to someone. The eye, though. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta come look at this one. Oh, I wanna turn this off. Hmm. Oh, this one's also really rough. Is it burned, do you think? Oh, I get to actually clean it? Why does that actually kind of make me happy? <laughs> 
Uh, I think I'm good. Good enough. <laughs> good enough. My whole outlook on life, you know? Good enough. Good enough. Okay, what's that? I was gonna say that kind of looks like salt, but medication maybe. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. <sighs> Nothing like a well-made bed. Well, I gotta place the pillow, but I gotta go grab the pillow. Go. Okay. Wow, this is this is hitting something for me. I'll say that. Wait, I gotta look in here. <gasps> Please clean this room. Do not disturb. Oh. Anything? Can't look at the thing? Okay, so there is another side. Press and hold confirm exit. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oops. I wonder if I'm gonna have to like hide for my life. Am I gonna have to hide for my life? You brought your own mug? Well, I guess ours aren't quite as complimentary. It's dirty. Best dad. Okay, so... Are these from their kids, or...? Wow. Just like that, huh? Just like that. Let's get that bathroom clean. And I can't do anything with this? Bullshit. Hide mechanic for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm a little bit scared about it. Can't clean. Okay. A red toothbrush and only one. I thought the kids might have come, but maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm doing a very and good. voila. Good as new. Good as new. Wow. Just a quick flush and that's that. So I can't take this towel then? Okay. I guess we just won't. We'll just leave it. Okay. I think I've done my very first job. Good job. I'll say. Yeah. I left everything the way it was. I mean, there wasn't really a mechanic to... Like, not, I guess? Hmm. Only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip, okay, baby? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I snooped real good. I have the chance to go back, I'm gonna go back. Oh, she was just looking. Okay. Have you heard about that nut house they want to build next door? Yeah, it creeps me out. Imagine all the weirdos who start hanging around the hotel. <laughs> I can think of someone who'll feel right at home. Look at her, always glued to that <laughs> gossip magazine. Do you think she has That's me. Friends, or is it just Gracie, Joan, and Marilyn? I'm a well, nosy bitch. When your own wife is that doll, you need to get your excitement somewhere. <laughs> oh, did you see Rebecca come in this morning? She was wearing the same clothes. Now, don't you think you're overreacting? This is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about. She's <laughs> doing everything she can to break us apart. Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you didn't. No, I didn't know why that could be why. I was so in love with you that I couldn't see you. I forgot my keys! I forgot my keys! I don't have my keys! Press Q to hear Sophie's thoughts. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Oh, uh, 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 I should talk to Beth at the front desk. But I need to go back. I need my keys. 
Oh. Tempting, but every penny adds up, Sophie. Hmm. Now's not the time to pick up smoking, Sophie. Oh, shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby? Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? Is it Valentine's Day? Or around there? Okay, 19 arrested in Deviant Raid. Mo uh, Montreal police arrested 19 persons in an early Saturday raid of Maney's Lounge, located on Stanley Street, downtown Montreal. The establishment owned by Emmanuel Liberta is a known hangout for sex deviates. A Montreal City employee, a court official, and two teachers uh, were among the, those seized. According to official reports, um, Lieutenant Sylvain Gilbert <laughs> says he plans to send letters to schools employing uh, the arrested uh, t teachers. School principals, parents, and fellow teachers should prevent such people from being in close contact with youngsters, he said. It is everyone's responsibility to protect our children. Lieutenant Gil Bult also promised an investigation would be opened on Leberta, who already has a criminal record to his name. I'm going to guess by sex deviants, since it's February 17th, 1958, and they mean um, them dreaded gays, you know? <laughs> Those dang gays. Always out here. And I'm wondering, I know, listen, it is not weird for a 21-year-old to, like, not be married. But I wonder if our main character is going to maybe, like, if I could, like, maybe get her a girlfriend or something, you know? That would be a little spicy. That would be a little spicy. Okay, major uh, snowstorm paralyzes the city. Montreal is paralyzed by this winter's fifth and most important snowstorm. 15 inches of snow are expected until the end of the day. The last major storm back in January had covered the city with 12 inches of snow. The storm started yesterday with six inches falling during the day and six more during the night. Violent winds create giant snow banks all over the city. Many drivers ignored police warnings and decided to take their cars in their own risk. Oh, at their own risk, resulting in several accidents. Trains from the United States are expected to be delayed up to three hours. At Dorval Airport, most departures have been canceled while arrivals are delayed or diverted altogether. Shop owners against new mental hospital. Also, how much you want to bet some of this comes back? I, I bet some of it does. Or maybe all of it, you know? A group of downtown Montreal businessmen and shop owners met with Mayor Sarto For Fournier last week to air their grievances concerning the city's recent decision to allow construction of a new mental hospital on Dorchester Boulevard. William Weston, manager of Weston Department Store, says he and his group will fight tooth and nail to prevent the hospital's construction. Will our customers feel safe to come downtown for their shopping needs, knowing there are lunatics next door, he said? Classic. Am I right? More worried about how a, a mental hospital would affect proximity to your location, how would it affect your business, how would it affect the money coming into you and your business, rather than worrying about people who need help getting said help. Oh, classic. Another bloody Valentine. Valentine's Day concluded in horror last Friday with the murder of an Ultramont resident. A worried neighbor called the authorities at 1115 p.m. after hearing loud shouts from next door. When police arrived, they found the lifeless body of a 34-year-old man. I'm trying to, like, remember these places to see if they'll add up with the shit we'll find in, like, people's rooms, you know? Like, it was, like, 32nd Street or something. Gilbao? I don't hear the T in a lot of pronunciations. Gilbo? Is it Gilbo? This game's so good. I hope you enjoy it. Well, I'm, I am like, I want like 10 minutes in and I love snooping. So I think it's for me. I'll remember it for you. Okay. I'm holding you to that. Almost like Bo. Oh, Gilbo. Okay. Okay. I, I can do that. 
Okay. Um, after hearing loud shouts from next door, when police arrived, they found the lifeless... Oh, right. I read that. Authorities have refused to identify the victim or provide any details about the circumstances of his death. No suspect has been apprehended yet, but Detective... Detective Lieutenant Maurice Tremblay asked anyone with information to come forward as soon as possible. Does your personal hygiene worry you? <laughs> Are those worries bothering your husband? Stop worrying and save your marriage with Liz Oil? Liz Oil is an indispensable aid to marriage hygiene. <laughs> Millions of women use it regularly to safeguard their beauty and avoid undesirable surprises. It's penetrative and effective even in the pre presence of organic matter. What does that mean? <laughs> Begin to use Liz Oil today so you can stop worrying about your hygiene and focus on more important things such as pleasing... <laughs> I almost threw up in my mouth. Your hard-working husband. Liz Oil has been endorsed for more than 60 years by scientists, medical professionals, and other men who have women's hygiene... <laughs> and other men who have women's hygiene at heart. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest fucking sentence you've ever heard? A Liz Oil Corporation project. Is this... Is this for the, is this for the undercarriage? <laughs> is this for the, is this for that there, undercarriage? Uh, did non-zero sub? Thank you so much for the sub, non-zero. I think this is for the undercarriage. Uh, uh, oh, a douche, yeah. Something, yeah, or soap or something. Something that either goes on or in. Okay, so it was just Valentine's Day, if that was the 17th. No one should be stuck cleaning up the reception hall after a ball, <laughs> even if they did draw the short straw. <laughs> I just look at the cover and light looks like, no! <laughs> didn't show up for some reason, I know. Why would you use oil? Well, this is the 50s, and didn't you hear that sentence? <laughs> um, men keeping women's hygiene in mind. Hey, Beth. Can we date Beth? Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone, so I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. Does she want to smooch me with those coral lips? I love that lipstick shade. Can I try it? With your mouth on, on mine? On my mouth? My mouth on your mouth? Anyways. <clears throat> they weren't kissing. I tried to ignore them. Okay, you said you needed me. Okay, that's to the point. I think, I think she's going to tell me what the point is anyways. So let me dig a little bit deeper. I'm gonna say, well, if I say they weren't kidding, I think she's gonna go, aha, so you were paying attention. I'm gonna say I try to ignore them and maybe she'll give a little more. Oh, I try not to pay attention to them. Or she's gonna call me out. I just find the sucking noises hard to ignore, <laughs> you know? But that won't be an issue today, of course. Every sound is being drowned out by the phone's constant ringing. Because of this storm? You have no idea. You're the only person I've talked to today that hasn't mentioned the blizzard. I mean, until now. Oh. Sorry. Nah, it's alright. I guess I'm just looking for something else to talk about. Anything else. They were in the middle of rubbing Liz oil on each other. <laughs> uh, and they were. And they were. Okay. Uh, no, okay, uh, this might get me in trouble, but I am going to give as much information as I possibly can to Beth, um, even though technically it kind of seems like she's in a position that's like a little bit higher than me, and she could completely tell people that I'm a nosy bitch, but I'm gonna hope me and Beth can do a little smoochy, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna air out the dirty laundry, you know? I can tell you about Wendy and Jacques. Well, I do have some gossip about Jacques and Wendy. <gasps> How dare you not lead with that? <laughs> What's going on? Um, when you called, I wasn't whispering because they were making out. They were fighting. Oh, this is entertaining. 
I mean, oh no, why? I'm not completely sure, but it sounded like Linda had something to do with it. Ugh, that bitch. Beth! Trust me, she deserves it. Do we trust Beth with our, with our, with our, with our hearts? With our heart of hearts? Uh, shocks to blame. Why does everyone hate Linda? Well, let's, let's do, let, I, okay, I myself said Linda was to blame, even though I actually don't remember the conversation, so I have no clue. Why does everyone hate Linda? I let's don't ask. get why everyone hates her so much. Linda's always nice to me. To you, maybe. But she's just the worst to every girl she perceives as a threat. A threat? A threat to what? I don't know. Her place as Bernard's right hand, I suppose. So, you're saying I'm not a threat? I'm not saying that. I'm saying Linda thinks that, but that's her mistake. I know there's more to you than meets the eye. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. So, um, you said you needed me? My help, I mean. Oh, right. Wanna guess why? Okay, so then Linda's like, she's not like, not a girl's girl. She's really like, she'll, she's willing to put other girls down so that she can keep her position in a job or something? Okay. Um, or like in her relationship or, or both maybe? Which if that's the case, I feel bad for her. Um, I'm gonna guess, right? Something to clean? I'm guessing there's something I have to clean. That's my job. Obviously. But what is it? <laughs> we can fix uh, it. Did a kid throw up again? God, no. <laughs> did that happen recently? God, no. Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. Feel it, too. Feel it. While I was cleaning, some of it got... Uh, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm with Beth. Keep talking, and you'll be cleaning up after me, too. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. I'm in love with Beth. I want to smooch Beth. Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. Oh, boy. Okay, haunted hotel? Oh! Some days I'm convinced the Clarington is haunted. It's not that I believe in ghosts normally, but there have been too many incidents for me to rule out the possibility completely. I bet it's not ghosts, even though I want it to be ghosts. I bet it's like there's secret, like, little, like, compartments and hallways, and people are getting around that way. Um, just this morning, I was waiting for the elevator on the fifth floor when I heard a loud bang behind me, like someone shutting a door, but with more force than I've ever heard a person use. I looked around, but there was no one to be seen. Am I just imagining things? Trouble in paradise. I overheard Wendy and Jacques- wait, I thought her name was Linda. Oh, oh, okay. I overheard Wendy and Jacques arguing in the break room. From the sounds of it, Linda got to Jacques' head and convinced him that Wendy was flirting with some of our guests. I couldn't believe it. Anyone who's been around them for more than a minute could see how much Wendy loves Jacques. She would never do that to him. Oh, Lindy was the- Linda was the problem! Okay. I thought Linda was the one fighting also. Okay. Uh, Beth's banter. Even if it's only a few minutes out of my day, my chats with Beth are always a highlight. She called me up to clean a mess made by one of our guests, which gave us a chance to catch up. I don't think I've met someone who can make conversation seem so effortless. Beth has a witty response for everything. It's too bad maids aren't usually allowed in the lobby. Chatting with her every day would be such a great w way to start my morning. Um, Sophie Beth Endgame, let's go. Can I speak with her? Hello, Beth. Beth, hello. 
Are you running away from me, Beth? I came over here to talk to you and now you're over here. Damn. Okay. Alright, I'll go get the mop. Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love Linda. her. Linda! Not just guests, apparently. Oh, God damn it, Linda! I only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job, after all. Mm -hmm. You don't seem Do to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble? Someone's coming. Staff? Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was, I mean, I'm sorry, I was just... Spying on our manager? No, I, I heard something and I... Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm, I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just, I, I'm not used to having people around me while I work. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. Uh, oh, let's pry. Uh, were you there during the ball? Were you here Friday night to see the whole thing? Yeah. They had someone in charge of the event, but she ended up crying alone in the stairwell. So I had to take over. What happened? Did it really go so wrong? It certainly didn't go wrong for the people enjoying the party, but for those sober around them, that's another story. Good God. I'm glad I didn't have to be there. I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you handle cleaning up after other people all day. You must see plenty of weird stuff, right? Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest's room? Something about you. Something very odd. Something gross. The weirdest. Let's say odd. Mm, a few months ago, I found stacks of pennies in a room's toilet. Like, a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> what? And when I got to the bed, the pillowcases were filled with pennies as well. I'm still not sure if that guest simply had a strange way of leaving a tip. Maybe it was a penny robbery. Maybe. Oh. I, uh, I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. It's okay. I need to, um... Yeah, yeah all right. Take care. You too. As if it wasn't enough, I mean, she'd be all with his endless letters of advice from Raymond. Raymond? Whatever you are. Ah, uh, he wants you to lower room price. Open? Make sure the hotel stays accessible to everyone. Oh, I can hardly believe you two are from the same family. In the States? You'd be sent to jail for those communist ideas. I hope you're not considering listening to him. Of course not. So Linda doesn't even work here. She's no, just Bernard's wife, and he, and she's just like with the renovation cost just like weird the hotel about everybody. About all the girls, because I think that she's gonna get divorced, and then oh, Bernard's yeah, gonna marry them or something. I think. The last thing I want is to look like a beggar. It's not begging if the other party's getting something in return. I'm sure this I'm not going to open that. That'd be wild crazy. I'm not going to do that. Then <laughs> 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 best say Linda is his right hand or something. Maybe. Also, thank you for the follow. Do it. I'm scared. Okay. Stairs, exercise. Elevator, convenient. Yeah. Elevator wins this time. Can Bobby I made here? it very oh. clear he doesn't like anyone walking into his kitchen uninvited. All right. Uh. There we go. Is a mop what I need? Don't I need like a broom first and then mop it up later? Use the bop to clean up the puddle. We don't have a bucket or anything. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. I'm really sorry about that. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. 
Oh, also. Okay, Sophie. Time to clean up that mess. Okay, what do we got? Oh, man. Andrew's ambush. Oops. So Andrew caught me eavesdropping on Bernard and Linda, who was once again complaining about Wendy. Thankfully, he didn't make it a big deal out of it. He doesn't seem the kind to judge. He's actually quite nice, easy to talk to, fun to tease, and funny in his own quiet way. I hope I'll get a chance to talk to him more. I get the sense that there's a lot more to him than uh, he willingly shows. If it's Andrew or Beth, it's Beth every time. So sorry. Beg your pardon? You want me to... I got the mop. I love you. Oh, it's water. I thought it was dirt. The mop makes sense now. Oh. Used to pick up the leaves. Ew. I better throw that away. What? What is it? The cycle through. Oh. Inspect. A film roll. Keep it. Guess must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should have returned it to him. Nope. I'm gonna find a dark room, and I'm gonna develop it. Okay. Ooh, look how good I am at my job. Damn. Oh my god. Now I just put the leaves back in the vase and it'll be like nothing ever happened. I'm actually amazing. Okay, lost and found. While cleaning up the mess in the lobby, I found a roll of film on the ground. I'm guessing whoever knocked over the vase must have dropped it. With best help, maybe I can figure out who it belongs to and return it to the room. We usually keep lost items, items at the front desk, but bringing it back myself would only take a few minutes out of my day and might put me a few steps closer to employee of the month. <laughs> There we go. Beth, I need your help. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do, but sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then, yes, yes, I know. You've said that already, but Chat memorize no, everything. That's very unlikely. So, <laughs> which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Well, you're welcome to speak to my manager if you'd okay. like. I'm um, sure. Um, I will be needing to to talk to you. Mm -hmm. How do I? Wait. How do I? Well, oh, here we go. You have to talk to my manager, Mr. Spade. Manager. Mr. Spade. Would you like to contact him? Uh -huh. Sadly, five oh five. First time. Fella, if you know what I mean. Is there any other like names we'll know? Yes. Yes. Remember it all, chat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So first room five oh five. Great. That's on my floor. I, I can return that film roll without going out of my way. Think really hard about just how much you want the cancelled. Switch to, to five oh one. It may help to repeat his name too. Oh, I it's wonder. I should have checked the the room I was in at the very beginning, I'm huh? Sure he'll be very sympathetic okay. to your plight. All right. I already screenshotted. In front of you, sir. Uh, no, I never dare. Okay, no, let's put our, our mop serious. away. If anyone can make the snow okay, off to room 505. I felt bad bugging Beth while she was in the middle of an important phone call. But like always, she came through. The logbook says Mr. Spade's in room 505. I was just in the middle of taking care of the fifth floor before my break. I can return the film roll and get right back to my schedule. Okay. I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. It's like her thoughts are more like they just kind of sum up what the fuck we're doing at the time. W and J. Wendy. Oh, Wendy and Jock. Of course. Of course. Okay. If there's a way to steal this film, I'm gonna be as naughty as possible. Beth, you wanna talk to me? <laughs> no, why? I just wanna confess my dying love to you! Poor Nicole. No one should be stuck cleaning up the reception hall after a ball. Even if they did draw the short straw. Okay. <gasps> Maybe I should have. This leak really needs to be fixed. I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. Is uh, um, is it? 
is that gonna be worse if I don't like should have I got the mop and done that? Oh well. And then someone slipped and died, and you had the mop, and you could have cleaned it up. And... Hold it, please. <sighs> Andrew, are you okay? Yeah, it's just <sighs> I slipped on the puddle by the restrooms. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> should have cleaned it. gonna achieve it. No, you did not it's clean up fault. the puddle. <laughs> I should have asked Eugene to repair the leak. <laughs> oh, uh, sixth. <laughs> Whoops. I I guess I know. <laughs> That solves that, huh? <laughs> What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest. The one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? Okay, well, I, uh, well, man, I was like, hmm, should I go get the mop and get that back? It's the fucking achievement pops up. You didn't do the puddle and Andrew got hurt. Oh. Uh. All the girls complain about him. Oh, is that that British man I keep hearing about? All the girls complain about him. Like he's a creep? The girls have been complaining about him ever since he arrived. Yeah, I'm sure this one has no thoughts for maids. With the dogs he has up there, his room will be a real mess when he's done with them. Dogs? Bernard must really like him if he allowed pets in the building. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Oh. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Say it, Andrew. Can't you at least give me oh, a Oh, he's hint? not going, going to, because I, mm. I heard him. Okay, let me think. Ooh, saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say I like to prolong the suspense. Wait, is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. Okay, well. Okay, so maybe I should look around because things will have your actions will have consequences. Oops. Linda's been putting these everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. Linda, why you're you're being too much. Say no to divorce. You can be divorced against your will. <laughs> Women and children suffer most in divorce. You lose your succession rights in divorce. The wife's pension rights are lost in divorce. You lose your right to the family home in divorce. Damn, Linda just n not be wanting to lose her money, huh? This must have been She does so not really fun. love him. Well, for the guests at least. Okay. Nice. Formal wear required. Entry includes one drink, door prices, and best dress costume. Is this the same? Yes, it is. Oh, Liz Oil. Does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids? Bernard First rule, seems be to think so. Be invisible. Second rule, be thorough. Third rule, be careful. What looks like trash is actually guest treasure possession. Be careful it's what to throw away. Partial cleaning. Okay. Room. Clean ashtrays. Oops, I didn't look at the ashtrays in the other room. Hmm. Okay. Pick up. Place cup. Place towel. Oh, we're actually gonna, like, clean this bad boy, huh? Mr. Spade. Well, the cart. Somebody else's? Mr. Spade? So much film. But there's a dark room right there, dude. Does he got the like sink plugged up? Because there's like a lot of chemicals you need. Bathtub too. <laughs> I 
was all her. Tampering with objects may lead to positive or negative consequences. What is this? It's her. Um, should I throw them all away? <laughs> should I just throw them all away? I mean, I think that these two are the worst ones. Doing it. Fuck it. No one's gonna catch me slipping. <laughs> no one's catching me slipping. <laughs> Okay. All right. Dude, I could just throw away fucking anything, can't I? <laughs> nice. Great. So I'm so good. All right. I don't want to clean. I want to look at it. Even somebody's just regular toothpaste. Even somebody's whatever. Looks like prescription drugs, but what are they for exactly? Hmm. Mirin Laboratories. Laboratories. Okay. You could just throw it the fuck away. Cleaning this bad boy up. Honestly, maybe I shouldn't be cleaning anything so he doesn't think a maid has even been in here yet. You know what I mean? Like, if I just leave everything exactly the way it was. Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Because they're going to immediately know I stole them. Ugh, gross. No, I need Beth's help. Um, um, did Twitch increase emote slots recently? Uh, animated ones, I think so. I have not looked, but if they did, I'll, I'll need to add more because I, I love them and I always want more. Beth, I need your help. Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Really? I knew it! You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? How did you find out? Found a dark room. Got me snooping. Did post it? Sorry. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> so I'm doing my best. Okay, I found a dark room. He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room. Pictures of you? Doing what? Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. And... Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. No! That's a terrible idea! But... Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff! But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but... Say a client reports something missing, those pictures would put a big red target on your I back. I already threw them away. I threw the pictures out. Well... I threw them out. Yeah, not your worst idea, but you found the pictures drying over the bath, right? And I cleaned yeah. everything. I'm no photographer, but I've been in one of those dark rooms before. You have? Yeah, I modeled for a while. Anyway, what I'm getting at is those pictures were developed recently, but it doesn't mean there aren't more elsewhere. 
Okay. There's a safe in here. Well, I didn't look through the entire room, but there is a safe here. I bet you anything there'll be more pictures in there. Beth is enabling Do you have me and I love combination, it. combination then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. Mm, give me a minute. I love Beth. She's an accomplice. She's going down with me if anything happens. Merde. Those idiots. What? I can't find the combination list. The night staff's probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Maybe you can have a look around the room and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. I love you. Please keep this between us. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. The beauty. <laughs> oh, you chose Beth as your accolade. That's what I just got. Okay, I called Beth for help. She convinced me to keep digging and not to make any decisions just yet. Not until I have a better idea of why those photographs of me exist in the first place. After seeing those photos, it's hard not to feel like someone's watching me while I snoop. But I have to find out more. The safe seems like a logical place to start. Beth thinks our guests may have written down the combination somewhere. Okay. Perception gave him a code. Maybe he wrote it down. I will Somewhere. say, bad news. I am cleaning this, which is like, of course he's gonna know it's me. But um, um, b bad news. You are going back to my cart. Um, this I could be getting the g getting rid of the um, like evidence that he's a creep, you know? What if I just took all of his cleaner? Then he couldn't develop anymore. <laughs> what if I just threw it all away? I feel like it's expensive, though, and he'd be mad. Wow. I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. Do not I guess for we have that in common. forget to buy more film. Do it, throw it away. The key to 505. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't be able to. That's a lot of film. How many pictures have you taken, Mr. Spade? The thing is, I don't necessarily want to throw it. I, I wish I didn't have to throw it away. I wish I could just pick it up and take it with me, you know? I'm gonna throw it away, though. Listen, he might be doing other crimes, and this might be really hard to pin on him now that we know that he's not a creep and we have absolutely no um, proof that he is a creep. But... Listen, listen. I'm not losing my job for this. Me and Beth, we're gonna get married. Uh, uh, history will affectionately call us um, good friends, then we'll live in the same house together, and we'll have two separate beds, but we'll only use one of them, <laughs> you know? Oh, sorry. That's rough. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? Just Gal Palace, that's right. Dear Mr. Morgan, I understand your situation, and I'm sorry that you had to spend so many years in the hospital. However, this does not change the fact that you don't have the qualifications for this, the, the job. And even if you did, I could not hire someone in your situation. Other staff members simply would not feel safe around you. I would ask you not to contact me anymore. Sincerely, Jeremy Sandberg. Hey, weirdo, stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you ever. Mr. Morgan, you have... You know I have a lot of respect for what you and the others and others have done for this country, but I'm not a charity. If you if I don't receive the past three months rent before the end of the week, you'll have to vacate the apartment. Thank you. Mr. Morgan. But this is Mr. Spade, right? Mr. Morgan, Mr. Spade. Interesting. I wonder if I have a time limit to find this. Or if once I find the thing, 
that will be it, you know? Is there like a save? Oh, there is a save. We should save now. <laughs> we should save right now. That way I can go back. Amir, thanks so much for the gifted. Thank you. Ooh. Watch this like person was just like, he wasn't even trying to be like creepy or weird. He was just like trying to like, and like only one film was those pictures and like all the other ones were like, he was going to get work with them. Oh, what's going on over here? And it's, and it sounds like he's a, uh, like, was in the military maybe? Cause they said, thank you for your service. But then also that he's creepy. But what if he's just like a private eye and he's taking pictures because he's trying to solve the fucking, the, the murders we heard about. It was like nine people or something. And now we've deleted all of his evidence. <laughs> ah, that's something that could happen. The oratory. I just went there for the first time and God, it, it's been years, hasn't it? Okay. Ooh, sour. Special occasion, wedding, funeral. Tramways. I remember this sale. I picked up that new winter jacket for mom. Harry's diner too. Were we ever there at the same time? Oh God, it's all about me? Why Harry's, lots of burger places closer to the hotel. Oh no. Beaver Lake? That's where I took mom's kitty in last month. Why is this up here? Um, is this just a big coincidence? T. 30. Is this just like the biggest coincidence ever? Is this a floor of the Clarington? Room service night mostly. Morgan, is that your real name? Why did you check in under Mr. Spade? Okay, you have to stop writing to this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I do not know what happened between the two of you, but please let us grieve in peace. Thank you, Lindsay's mother. Do you think I look like Lindsay or something? Oh, return to sender. Didn't work out for ya. Huh. Beans. One man's trash is another maid's trash. Something tells me you won't be missing this. Scam. God, he's gonna know I clean. Again, maybe. I, I hope you weren't eating those beans. Well. Listen, I don't know if I'm meant to be cleaning, but I am. So. Okay. A mirror? I wish I could just- I guess she's- she doesn't steal things. She just snoops and like that's her whole thing. Did I look in there? What? Hold on. This was nothing. Cause he's gonna know exactly that it was me. You're pawning off your possessions? What do you need the money for? Okay, pawns, World War II victory medal. So he was in the army. Okay. For $15. Huh. I feel like we've got, we have this, like this can't be this simple where he's just stalking me, you know? I feel like it's gonna, I feel like I'm fucking up here. But that's okay. French to English. French to English. Gross. I'm picking it up. Oops. Were you using that cup? <laughs> you might have been using that cup to... Oops. It's going on here. This is my cup now. I can't put it back, unfortunately. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Okay. 
Alright. What does that say? Mmm, Belgium, November 1944. Okay. Birds of North America. French to English. Birds. He likes birds. Mr. Spade. This is such a choice I'm making to fully fucking clean his bed or clean clean his room while snooping and clear like clearly he know like clearly the maid is the one doing it you know oh fuck look at all this dude oh, there's a key what do we have here um request to move to 507 why did you want to change rooms <gasps> Lindsay's address. Infantry division. Year of hospital discharge. It's the code for something. Lindsay's address. Infantry division, which it was what, the 9th? Year of hospital discharge. That's it, baby. Okay, February 15th, 1958. Dear Mr. Spade, the present letter is to confirm the reception of your transfer request to room 507. Regrettably, the room in question is currently occupied by an extended stay guest. We are therefore unable to grant your request. Thank you for understanding. Please contact us should you have any other requests. Yours sincerely, Bernard Leduc, hotel manager. Okay. Hopefully you don't miss these. Is this okay? To dry stuff on the radiator? Will it start a fire? I'm gonna be honest, I have no knowledge. Just just feels Do not forget to take your pills. I wonder if it's just for like Okay, we're okay, we're making a choice here. Okay, so the second one was hold on, it was the 99th infantry. So 90, 99 is the middle number. 99 is the middle number. Chat. 34 uh, is the first number. 34, 99. And then the year he was discharged from the hospital, right? Um, here he was he was discharged from the hospital. Somewhere over here, maybe? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. <laughs> the top one? I thought I heard somebody and I was scared for my life. Beth be like. <laughs> Me and Beth be like. <laughs> and they were roommates. Oh, there's a thing. There's like a, a bookmark. She was alone in a town she barely knew, hundreds of miles away from a home. She was desperate for comfort, and she found it in the arms of the most unsuspect, uh, unexpected person. What first started as a normal friendship between two women soon blossomed into something much more passionate and disturbing. This is a tale of love and desire like you have never read before. Out of her own experience, the author, working under a pseudonym, tears the curtains from one of the gravest threats to modern social morality. The strange love practices trapping unwary girls today, particularly in our larger cities. <laughs> one room, two women, so many secrets. No one at school suspected what took place once their door was locked. What if he's all, what if I'm a sexual deviant and also he is also a sexual deviant, you know? What if we were both sexual deviants and actually uh, Lindsay is like this person in the pictures, like sister or something, and really he's just like madly in love with the other person in this picture. 
And like, we're fucking like ditching all this goddamn film. And you're right, but, oh, wait, hold on, what is this, binoculars? I almost threw his binoculars away, I'm gonna be honest. Switch the that storm off. must be getting worse. I hope mom's not too bored without her TV shows. Okay, what was the... Reception? Oh no, we need the... We need the... Well, maybe it's in here. Sorry. Hold on, I am gonna do a little savey, because I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna put these cups over here, too. <sighs> so fucking funny. Me and Beth be like... I'm just like throwing away all of his shit too. I think I've cleaned up everything. God, he truly is gonna just know exactly that it was me though. But I'm on a mission now and I feel like the story doesn't, like the story is more interesting if I just go under, like keep going with like what my character thinks, you know? Like and not like meta be like, well actually I should 3D chess this. You know, let's just, let's open this, baby. It was, what, 34.99. We need hospital release date or something? <gasps> Paul, 42. I'm just saying, what if we're both sexual deviants? Ah, uh, yeah. 10 years in a psychiatric hospital. And it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses and prescriptions. Okay, so the dr the 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 medicine is for anxiety, character disorder, chronic insomnia, short-term memory loss. All could just be like Paul Morgan. Okay, all could literally just be um like PTS. I mean, he was in the war. Um, hospital course. Patient initially admitted for nervous breakdown. Patient displayed a I wonder if his bestie died and they were in love. Um, in mood swings, occasionally aggressive. Patient non-responsive to shock treatment. Neither insulin nor electric. Uh, patient condition improved after new medication. Dude, maybe I should get rid of his medication. Or what if it's actually helping him? I can't tell. I won't get a little <laughs> Let's let him make that decision. I don't know why I'm like, and I'm gonna fa I'm gonna help him. <laughs> and then they were putting him on awful drugs that weren't actually like I don't know, they might actually be helping him, Jesus. And I'm just like, and I'm gonna get rid of him. <laughs> like, God damn, Sophie. It's fine, you're fine. Okay, um uh date of discharge twenty three eight fifty seven. Is it the year or Close that. Close that. 3495. Oh, fuck. Is he here? He. What? No. Beth, you said you'd call if Mr. Spade was coming back to his room. Oh, yeah, I did say that. Sorry for the fright. Oh, my God, Beth. I nearly had a heart attack when I heard the phone ring. I didn't mean for it. I was just so caught up in the thrill of it all. I had to check in. Did you find more pictures of you? I was about to open the safe. No, I haven't. But I did find something else. Yeah? He's got a kind of yarn map of Montreal on the wall. A yarn map? And where does it lead to? Lots of places. Most of them I've visited recently. What's the deal with this guy? I think he may be using an alias. I found some evidence that points to his real name being Paul Morgan. <laughs> well, he's certainly not the first man to check into a hotel under a fake name. Is it really common practice? It is, when the man in question is married, but the woman accompanying him isn't. Or at least, not to him. Hmm. Considering the state of his room, I doubt Mr. Morgan was expecting any visitors. Did you find anything else? I don't... I don't think he does. I think... I'm just gonna say it, I he guess. He seems to be in love with this woman who doesn't love him back. 
You mean you? No, no, someone else. I found lots of letters addressed to a woman named Lindsay, but she returned them all to sender, unopened. Are you sure it's love and not obsession? Maybe he stalked her like he's stalking you. I don't know. Whatever it is, I find it strange she didn't open the letters before sending them back. I would have had a look at them first. Because <laughs> I'm <laughs> of snoopy. You would've. So, is that all you found then? He has this book with, um, underdressed women on the cover. How do you feel about the back? I Playboy magazine qualifies as a book. No, no, it's not. It, it's a novel. <laughs> it's called, um, And They Were Roommates. Oh, I see. Oh, I and have I that one at home. These women on the cover <laughs> are really good friends. Bets, you want to be really good friends with me? What do you mean? Well, if it's what I think it is. It's probably one of those trashy books for men who secretly fantasize about two women getting real cozy with each other. Have you ever read one? I didn't read it! Have you ever read one, Beth? Have you ever read one? Yes, they're awful. <laughs> I thought Andrew was the book expert. Oh, he definitely is an expert on everything you'll find in a nice little bookstore. Beth book store. has been curious about me, it. for me, I'm more the every weird thing you'll find at a train station expert. <laughs> Did you find anything else on Mr. Morgan? I'll know more once I open the safe. Oh, so you found the combination? Yeah, sort of. I'm impressed. Well done, Arsène Lupin. What? Oh, uh, never mind. Don't let me keep you. <laughs> okay, I'll call you back. Yeah, you better. I won't call again unless Mr. Morgan returns. For real this time. All right. Thanks. Okay. 34.99.57. Uh, book channel and Discord. Mm? That's a good idea. Yeah, so he's taking some old-timey anti-anxiety... Anti-anxiety slash sleeping pills. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to get rid of them unless he really needs them. Like, it could be that also they could just be like... Oh gosh, yeah. How your demon behavior needs to be fixed, and he doesn't need to be fixed. But just in case they're actually like legit, I don't want to actually like hurt him or anything. Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room, or did this just fall down? Maybe this is exactly what he wants. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, thirty-four. Oh, this is, this is, a, it's kind of hard. A and D. There we go. 99. 57. It didn't work. Oh, it did work. A gun! You open the safe. Of course I did. Like, I don't know what's on them. Okay, I throw it all away though. <laughs> there could be film in here, I don't know. Poor, <laughs> sorry dude. Sophie, you should probably put this down. I touched no. it! <laughs> I touched it! I touched it! <laughs> fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Wait, no, 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 just kidding. It's, what, 57? Oh, they don't have fingerprint shit. Like, whatever. My fingerprints are fine. I could put, I could lick this shit and it would, I would never be caught. <laughs> I could lick it and I would never be caught. M and H. <laughs> Are they guests here? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you had to touch. Listen, it's 1957. They'll never catch me, even if I did do it. Okay. Um, two fourteen fifty eight. Yeah, cause fifty. It's fifty nine. Fifty seven. Fifty. Is it, oh, it's 58. It's now 58. Okay, so this is just a couple days ago. Arrived at the hotel room, not ready yet. Had to wait in lobby. M and H came in, both nicely dressed. M was holding a flower bouquet. Heard them talking to the receptionist. 
um, saying how nice the oratory was. Picked up some flyers to find out what the, what oratory they were talking about. Room finally ready, no sign of M or H. Decided to unpack and install my setup in the bathroom. Still no sign of M and H. Have probably gone out again. Finished developing this afternoon's pictures. Unable to sleep. Heard weird noises from the corridor. They're, you're hearing the haunting too. No idea who or what it was. M and H. Going through their trash? You really want to find out what M and H are up to, don't you? M and H arrived at the hotel's restaurant and ate a quick, a quick breakfast. M and H left the hotel and got into a taxi, tried to follow, but had no money for a cab. Found a pawn shop to get some money, but no idea where M and H went. Back to my room. We'll have to kill time until M and H return. Spotted M and H entering the hotel with Weston shopping bags. Found M and H eating at the hotel restaurant. H left for the bathroom. M exchanged a few words with a woman and her child. I've gotten rid of all evidence of any of this happening, by the way. <laughs> um, M and H left the restaurant, probably turning in for the night. While leaving, H emptied pockets in the trash. Searched the trash, found a receipt from a place called Harry's Diner with drawings and weird symbols on it. Took a coffee at Harry's Diner, showed a picture of M and H to waitress. Waitress remembered them, said M used to be a regular about 10 years ago. Back in my room, tried mapping M and H's movements since their arrival in Montreal. Unable to sleep again, heard someone exiting room 507, but did not hear the elevator. Why are you following them? And who's sneaking out at night? So many questions. M and H arrived at the hotel restaurant for breakfast. M and H left the hotel and got into a taxi, followed them to a place called Mount Royal. M and H went skating on a small frozen lake, fell on the ice while trying to take a picture. H might have seen me. M and H ate at the lounge and left a ticket on the table. Ticket has a weird symbol on it, just like Harry's diner receipt. M and H decided to leave because of the snowstorm. M and H arrived at the hotel shortly after me. H looked looked angry. Something happened during the taxi ride, but what? No sign of M and H since early afternoon. Tonight, we'll try to find out who's sneaking out at night. And that's and that's that on that. And here's the pictures. Hmm. M and H. Okay. God, I have. I sure M have. And H. Maybe Beth is trying to in a lockbox. I sure did touch the gun, but it's 1958, and I don't think. Wait, when did fingerprinting? Like, when? When did that exist? <laughs> Uh, anything under the bed? Probably fine, right? <laughs> Probably. So, this is them tracking them, actually. And me going there was actually just, uh... 1986. I'm fucked. 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 I touched the gun. I'm fucked. I'm, oh, God. Oh, God! I'm gonna live- I'm gonna live with my mistake. <laughs> Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hold on. Andrew. Andrew. Cover for me, will you? What's going on? Hey, Tintin. Just do it. Sorry about that. So, I take it you open Morgan's safe? What was in it? I found a journal. A journal. His journal? Does he say why he's stalking you? He's not. It's on oh, me. But it seems he's stalking two other people as well. Oh. Who are they? They're guests. I don't know their names, though. I I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Well, Snoopy, although it may seem like it, I'm not actually clairvoyant, so I'll need something to narrow the search. Do you know anything about them? Start with M and H. Mr. Morgan refers to them as H and M. Well, that could mean a lot of things. It could be their initials or, I don't know, husband and mistress. Oh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, I'll need a little more to go on. Hmm. Okay. I found out that Mr. Morgan made a request to be transferred to room 507. 
but it was denied because... That's Mrs. Beaumont's room. Exactly. Hmm. Why change rooms when his entire setup is in 505? I'm not sure. I, I just thought it might be related. Maybe, but... Hmm, would you look at that. There's a couple staying in room 509. Hector and Marcella Cruz. Hector and Marcella. H and M. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mmm. Do you know anything about the cruises? Well, I saw them come in and out of the hotel a few times. Called a taxi for them once. The missus does the smiling and the other frowns a lot. Nothing to write home about. Do you have room 509 on your to-do list by any chance? I do, actually. Then maybe you go clean it and have a little look-see? Yeah, nothing unusual here. Just a maid cleaning a room. That's my girl. I'll call you if I find anything. Just be careful, okay? I will. I promise. Oh, I didn't realize that was gonna... Good thing I closed everything. I mean, I was very clearly there. I threw away all film. <laughs> Okay. I'll need my keys to enter room 509. I should probably check the break room. Alright, so I'm gonna have to take the elevator back down, I guess? Oh, right. What's this? It's a yo-yo. I'll leave it. I just throw away fucking everything. <gasps> I still have the key! Oh, can I put this key back, please? There we go. Okay. Um, all right. I think I've cleaned up. It's clearly cleaned up in here, which was a choice I made. Um, but I think other than that, like, everything is where it should be besides the film and the pictures, which again, I think was a choice I made. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Listen, you might have taken creepy pictures of me or maybe you haven't. Oh, my cart's all the way down here. But you get fresh towels at the very least. Let's put those on the bathroom shelf. Where did the dirty towels go? There we go. Hold on a sec. <laughs> you may be a creep or maybe you're not. But I feel, I'm feeling more and more like you're not and I've made a grave mistake. So you get clean towels. Oh. I left the clean towels on my car. Oh, you need more clean towels. <laughs> you need more than one clean towel. One second. Hi, Nathan. Oh, I can have as many as I want clean towels. Three, three clean towels for you, Mr. Spade. Or should I say Mr. Morgan? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, so he so this is the regular light bulb. So throwing that away would do nothing. And I don't want to really hinder the I did touch the gun. That is that is a sp that is a spicy my bad. I did do that. And there was And there was nothing here. Okay. All right. I'm guessing that just gave us a time to like put like re back arrange the stuff because I bet he's gonna come here. Nope, guess not. Snooping. Governess. Yeah, Linda's not exactly, uh, my door's always open, come on in, uh, it's locked. Fine, keep your secrets. People don't usually leave these open, sesame? <laughs> fine, no, keep no. your secrets then. What's going on here? Eugene. 
Half the washing machines are out of order. Because of this, I won't be able to finish our current load in time, and Beth will be forced to offer guests an apology discount. Please fix the machines before Bernard kills me, Rebecca. Hmm. A pair of pants. Any of this mine now? Fine. Keep your secrets, locker. Fine. Keep your secrets, locker. The way they look at each other. You can tell it's the real deal. Is... Is this, um... I cannot remember her name. Jacques and... Yeah, it's Jacques and, uh... Her name eludes Off me. Limits. Her name eludes me. Is it in one of these? I don't know. Is this a cozy mystery? Actually, yeah, kind of. Did I remember to punch in this morning? Hmm. Mm, that struggle is too real. What's going on? Hypocrite bitch on Linda's door. Hypocrite bitch? What did Linda do? And to whom? Linda, my... My wife will be at her parents tonight. So come by my house at 8 p.m. and make sure you bring the new lingerie about you be. She's a hypocrite bitch because she's so fucking worried about. Wait. Wait. Are her and Bernard not together and she's just cheating on him with? And she's. Wait. <laughs> B. Maybe it's a different B? To all employees. My wife will be... So is Bernard married not to Linda? I could get rid of all the evidence. I could. Is she cheating or not, though? That's the thing. So, like, I, originally when I saw that, I was thinking, okay, so... Clearly, she's so fascinated with, like, Bernard like talking to other girls and stuff because like she's cheating and she thinks he's cheating but open sesame it's locked sophie this is mine <laughs> haven't gotten any tips so far today hairish jar tip jar our 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 legacy nailing it hmm being recognized for doing a good job that feeling never gets old Sophie, I've noticed a real improvement in the quality of your work lately. I've heard a few guests saying how clean their rooms are after you go through them. Who knows? Maybe you'll manage to steal the Employee of the Month reward from Wendy. Wendy. Wendy in shock. Linda. Linda likes me, but I I think if I don't clean it up, I'll know what the fuck is going on, you know? Fine. Keep your secrets, locker. Off limits. Who's is this? Nicole? Nicole. Dear sister, we need to talk about Kevin. The other day, Patrick received some pamphlets from a friend from the States, and now he is convinced that our child is a sissy? How is that even possible? The boy is only five years old. Does it really matter if he likes to play with girls and prefers dolls to toy cars? Still, I cannot help but think, if Patrick is right, if Kevin indeed is like that, what kind of future awaits him? Will he ever be able to get a job? To have a family? To live a normal life? Every time I look at him now, I feel like crying. I just want my little boy to be happy. Is that too much to ask? Love, Nicole. Well, oop. The hidden enemy. It's the homosexuals! <laughs> I'm telling you, I think... I think I also am a sexual deviant. I think I might be a homosexual. I am the hidden en enemy. I am the invisible force lurking in the shadows. <laughs> oh my god. 
threatening our very way of life. And it is not the communists. It is the homosexuals. A menace to the young, a threat to everyone. But how do we spot them? They move unnoticed in society, working in every field. They may even be married and have children. They could live next door to you, attend your church, or even be your son. Well, that would probably hit a little close to home, huh? In these pages will learn how to spot homosexuals and protect society from these dangerous deviants. I'm, I'm getting a big theme. I'm getting a big theme from this it's game. Locked. And I hope me and Beth can run away together. This is Carol. Carol, here's the chambermaid's guide I talked about. Come to see me if you have questions concerning the job or the staff. I can tell you who you should hang out with and who you should avoid, you bet. Carol, I hope you're having a great first week here. Valentine's Day is always a very busy time, but do not worry, it should calm down soon. Yesterday I saw you watch while we were playing cards at lunch. You're welcome to join us today if you wish, Nicole. But what if she's the hidden en enemy? What if she's a homosexual? Can I look at these pictures? Off limits. Wendy, Wendy. Why the fuck? Press E to open and close closable objects. How long have I been able to do read. that? It matches the message on the door. So do you think she's lying? Is she lying, you think? This goes beyond constructive criticism. It's just a personal crusade. Wendy, do you think I don't see the way you talk to guests? The way you smile at them and call them sweetie while you fill their coffee cups. The way you laugh at their jokes and bat your eyes like a stupid teenage girl. I'm not sure if you're doing it for the tip or to get the employee of the month reward. But either way, this is unacceptable. And I won't even mention the way you wear your uniform. This is a respected hotel, not a pleasure house. Although I've always had a problem with your behavior. I tolerated it as long as the guests were happy. But now that you're getting engaged, I can no longer remain silent about it. What would Jacques say if he saw you? I'm sure he would be as ashamed as I am. Maybe you've got Bernard fooled like every other man, but if you don't change your behavior, I'll find a way to convince him to fire you. This is your only warning, Linda. And then she, cro she Wendy crossed out Linda and wrote bitch instead, which, you know. I don't want to think of what could happen to Wendy if someone found these. Should I? Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 Characters. Uh... Hold on, let's see, big boss. Hellbent. Bernard and Linda are quite close. Oh, she's okay. She's his second in command, but it's an open secret. That there's more going on. They've been arguing more and more lately, though. Usually about Linda's strong feelings about Wendy. Bernard loves Wendy, or more accurately, loves how much the guests love her, while Linda thinks she's up to no good. So Bernard and Linda are not together. Um... So yeah, so Bernard has a wife, and okay, so that was like, oh, like, it's so funny that you think Bernard and me have something going on and I'm cheating on Jacques, and you're telling Jacques that I'm cheating on him, but actually you're cheating on your husband and he's cheating on his wife, and like, you're, I have physical proof you're cheating with each other. Okay. It's, she's made it her life's mission to break up Wendy and Jacques' relationship, and I'm worried that her latest efforts might have succeeded. Linda feels incredibly strong about married couples who choose to divorce. She's been leaving anti-divorce flyers on every floor and won't speak to speak to any divorcee staying at the hotel. Okay. Where do s such strong convictions like that come from? It's a little hypocritical. Yeah, especially since she's obviously not in, like, they're both they're cheating on each other, you know? Linda's always worked quite close with Bernard, but we've all known their relationship goes far more than co-workers. Bernard might be willing to bend over backwards for Linda, but fire, firing the hotel's most popular waitress just because she demands it? I'm not sure he'll bend that far. Okay. Alright. Okay. I guess... Listen. Wendy? Don't even worry about it. I got you. <laughs> I got you. 
Yvette's and Susan's favorite activity, talking behind other people's backs. I can't believe Miss Perfect got Employee of the Month reward again. I'm sure she won't even use the mixer she won. She's too dumb to understand how it works. Poor Jacques. He deserves so much better than that stupid whore. Wait, so Wendy is such a good employee that she got Employee of the Month and now Linda's just like, I guess, jealous of her? Sorry, I'm like so into this. I'm like, no. <laughs> No, not Wendy. <laughs> Wendy got employee of the month. <laughs> I'm like also hot gossiping. And did you see the look on Sophie's face when Bernard first showed the mixer? You'd swear that weirdo had never seen one in her life. Anyway, join me at 11.15 for smoke break. Okay. Smoking is bad for you. <laughs> Smoking is bad for you, <laughs> so I'm gonna throw away your cigarettes. <laughs> Gossip is good. Who is this? Yvette? Smoking is bad for you. <laughs> Look at all these cups. Okay. Somebody's cut out of this picture. Who is it? Who's the fourth? Okay. So now we have to provide soap to the guests. This this is getting ridiculous. What's next? A hair dryer in every room? Why yes, actually. Speaking of hair, have you seen Rebecca's new haircut? I didn't think she could look even uglier. Smoke break at 3:45. No smoke break for you guys. I had keys with me during break. I must have forgotten them in the break room. No smoke break for you guys. What is it? Wendy? It's Sophie. Are you alright? Do I sound alright? I... No. I guess not. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk. I covered for you. <laughs> I was in the break room earlier and, um... I, I couldn't help but overhear your argument with Jacques. I'm sorry he let Linda get to his head. He, he should be trusting you, not her. Yeah, well... I know I wouldn't be your first pick, but... I'm here if you need to talk. Maybe later. We just can't talk about it. I can't talk about it right now. I... I'm sorry I was rude. It's okay. Sophie? Yeah? Thank you. I covered for you. Wendy, I got your back. I got you back. <sighs> okay. Don't even worry about it, Wendy. Don't even worry about it. Linda, you're not even trying to hide the daggers in your eyes. So this is this is Wendy. Yeah, Linda offers Wendy the employee of the month reward. Okay. Can I go through her purse? Okay, so these are my keys. Hold on. Let me snoop a little bit more. Rebecca's had her hands full lately. I hope she's doing okay in there. What was the switch? Oh, the water. Anything I can snoop? Shoot, it's locked. I guess I'll have to get Linda's master key instead. Uh-oh. Oh, this is the master key, I guess. That'll do. I'll just have to make sure I don't forget to return it. Okay, guys, I cannot forget to return it. Right, the master key only unlocks the guests' rooms. I'll have to get my keys later. At least I can get into 509 now. I'm gonna forget about right, it. The master key only unlocks the guests' rooms. Wendy. Hmm. I've never seen two people more suited for each other. I hope they work things out. They need to. Don't forget to return the master key. I'll do my best. Okay, I think I've thoroughly snooped. I think I've thoroughly snooped. I've done everything I can. Oh, Andrew. I hope someone here shares your passion for reading. Well, it's not gonna be me. I have Beth, so... <laughs> I hope somebody else <laughs> shares your passion. 
<laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Beth! Oh, hey, Beth. On break already? You Sadly, wanna make out in the... No. Okay. I have an express delivery to make to the sixth floor. Isn't that Jacques or Andrew's job? Well, they're both busy, so... What about you? I thought you'd be in 509. I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue our... investigation. Oh, I see. Well, this has been quite the day so far, hasn't it? I can't remember the last time work was this interesting. Yeah, that's definitely one way to put it. That's not all, though. I just spoke to Wendy in the bathroom. I was looking for my keys, and I heard someone crying in the bathroom. Well, it's not a day at the Clarington if someone hasn't broken down in tears. Who is it? It's Wendy. She's pretty upset. Oh, any idea what happened? I think Linda got to Jacques's head, and Wendy hit back by writing hypocrite bitch on her door. <laughs> Of course she did. It's been a long time coming. Linda's been treating her like her personal punching bag as of late. Oh, Linda's being too harsh. Linda shouldn't have done but Wendy shouldn't have done that if Bernard hears about this. Oh, I wanna be involved. I wanna be involved in everything. I'm going to jail because I touched a gun, so I might as well just fucking do it all. Yeah, Linda's been pretty bad to Wendy. I'm not surprised she snapped. Remember that day when Wendy came to work with that gorgeous perm? The staff, the clients, everyone complimented her. So you notice her then gorgeous Then Linda perm. came along and sent her right back home to straighten it out because her cosmetic choices were distracting the clientele. Ugh. I'm not trying to excuse her behavior, but I think Linda's under a lot of pressure right now. It can't be easy, managing so many people with Bernard breathing down your neck. You know, I don't know how you do it, Sophie. Maybe it's because my empathy only goes so far, but... I admire that you're able to feel for just about anyone. <laughs> I feel for some... I feel more for some than others. Beth, you want to be, you want to be like besties? You want to go like, I don't know, live together and be spinsters together, but really we're together? I like to put myself in other people's shoes, especially if they're people I find fascinating, like you. <laughs> wow. The way you turned that compliment right back around at me mm -hmm. was masterful <laughs> well this was a lovely chat but i better see if eugene is around maintenance hopefully he can help me find this thing for our esteemed guest yeah we both got a lot on our plates today i can't wait to find out more about our friends h and m take care you too will i be thrown in jail over um the gun being used in a murder Should we go check on her? Or sexual decency. Stay tuned. Yeah, Linda's not exactly a uh, my door's always open. Come Stay on tuned. in, kind of boss. Which one am I gonna get thrown in jail for? Uh, getting uh, best beautiful coral uh, lipstick all over my mouth, or? Uh, Going, going to jail for a murder. Oh, she's gone. Rebecca's had her hands okay. full lately. Oh, yes, we can't come there. smooch her. Wait, did she just go in the break room? Right. The master key only she could have let me in. Guests rooms. I'll have to get my keys later. Okay. At least I can get into 509 now. All right, let's go. Uh, I like how Sophie was like, oh, but Linda's going through it as well. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to let her just get caught. <laughs> Fuck it, you know? Uh, do you want to make out in this bed we made? That's right. That is what I'm saying. I mean, I sure can just keep going in here. Oh, 
I do have 506 next on my list. Should I pop in before checking out 509? Sure. What if we oh find some- Oh boy. Someone's been living it up. Ugh. Turn this off. Look at the- Oh. I wanna clean it up. I wanna clean it up. I wanna make it look real nice. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe I should save again. Luckily, it seems like there's lots of auto saves, so that makes me feel good. Yeah, it's it's messy in here. What did the thing say on the thing? It say do not clean. Sorry for the mess. What does that say? I wish there was a zoom in option. What have you done? What's the story behind this? <laughs> Do I want to know? What is what is it? What what what? What is what was that? You ever written anything with lipstick? No. No, absolutely not. Clean this mirror. Clean it all up. Wow. Easy. She makes cleaning look so dang easy. What does the thing say? Does it say, like, do not disturb, or...? Was the shoe bloody, or...? Did it have wine on it? Or God forbid something worse? Another fan of the gossiper. I never did finish that article from this morning. That feels like so long ago now. This new shade, he'll wish he stayed. Okay. The untold story behind Frankie and Ava's divorce. Okay. Lipstick that lasts all the way down the red carpet. Worried about smudges? Wait, hold on. I feel like I should maybe, I don't know, put on some mud? You think it's mud? You think it's poop? I hope it's mud. There we go. Gotta put on some lipstick if we're gonna talk about lipstick. Fear not. Raphael boasts a kiss-proof formula ensuring your enchanting allure lasts from dusk till dawn. We ensure your lips are always camera ready. Snap breathtaking photographs that immortalize your beauty and be just like the glamorous hollywood starlets give your lips the hollywood treatment he'll never deny you a kiss with lips as red as this get ready to pucker up with raphael's lipstick collection in vivid hues of scarlet red and blushing pinks these magical lipsticks exude an aura of irresistible allure that will leave hearts throbbing do you think it's, do you think Beth is wearing a blushing pink? It does make me want to give her a little smooch. Just a weedle smooch. If he's cosplay win, honestly. Did he really just scold us for talking? These Montreal cab drivers, I swear. I know, I thought he'd appreciate us trying to make conversation. Thank God for good old-fashioned pen and paper, at least. Yeah, it takes me back. At least Sister Gabrielle isn't here to confiscate them anymore. So, like I was saying, are you ready for your week-long bridal shower, Mrs. Hubert? Uh, Hubert? Stop it, Simone. I'm not Mrs. until we walk down the aisle. And this week... And this week is for thinking about anything but that. That's right. We're making the most of this week before I lose you to the jaws of married life. I would never... I won't be another Andrea, I promise. Lyan Lane? Lyan? He's going to kick us out if you keep making me laugh. The mom is uh are they all lesbians? Is it all the gays? <laughs> Look at the little smiley face. I I can't tell if I'm making everybody gay in my head or if everybody's gay. <laughs> I am here for it. I'm out here hoping them all the best. 
No, everyone's gay. Great. Perfect. Can I call Beth? Come on! They they drew the guy with girl hair, like with longer hair and a dress. Come on! <laughs> Listen, it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. I I I hope the best for them. <laughs> I hope the best for them. If only the fishes would actually like this. Every room I go in, somebody is gay. Not exactly a cherished gift. If you just left it behind like this. Oh, damn. And I'm not going home without a prize. Uh, uh, dear my beloved Lyanne. Lane? Lyanne? Okay. Much as I would have loved to spend this Valentine's Day with a woman who's about to become Mrs. Hubert... I'll happily make do with a lifetime of Valentine's Day is awaiting us. Enjoy your week in Montreal. I'll be eagerly awaiting a return and the start of our new life together. Love, Gregory. P.S. Don't let Simone rope you into anything crazy. Tell her I need my bride back in one piece. I, I, I w so they're gone for good then? And I can throw away all of their stuff. Because I don't want them to get in trouble. I don't want them to go to jail for the crimes I too will be going to jail. <laughs> the Holy Bible. We have to protect the gays. Like I hope somebody protects me and Beth. Uh... Hopefully they are not coming back. Because I have, I mean, I've, I've thrown away their everything. All of their nice memories. Okay. There we go. Clean. Nobody's going to jail for crimes. <gasps> the balloon. And this crooked pi picture. There we go. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. It's more than perfect. Okay. I didn't even change like the sheets or anything. People are just just keep sleeping in the same sheets. Okay. I've done what I could for you. There we go. Where where am I where am I going? Five oh seven? Do not disturb. Well, that's one less room to clean today. I won't complain. Okay, I won't complain. Is there any rooms down here that I can open? Yes. Yes. Oh, this is the one I started in. Okay. Well I guess I've done a good job. Good enough. Okay. I didn't realize this is where I started. They're giving me a lot of time to go back, aren't they? Okay. What if I just keep throwing these away? Maybe sometimes people do need to get divorced, you know? Huh. I do have 508 on my list, but... Disturb by won't. For now. Hmm. Looks like plaster for the renovations. Better not play with it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So if we need some plaster, we know where to get it. Up here. Oh, that's definitely going to come in handy later, I bet. Whoa. They have money, money for all that shopping. More work for poor Rebecca. Hang in there, Reb. Laundry? Oh, laundry service, yeah. Looks like someone had quite the shopping spree. Let me open this. 
There's a pillow there. No combination, no entry. Hmm. No combination, no entry. So I can get into their thing. Alright. Wow! Look at this tub! Oh, what do they do to these bathrooms, man? Did I, am I cleaning this with my hand? She just went like this. Oh, this dirt. It does not want to get off easily. But I'm something of a professional. Let's read this. These are lovely. I wish you'd had more confidence in yourself. Now you're actually licking the mirror clean. Oh, of course, that makes sense. <laughs> I still love you as much as I did on the day I met you. I will always remember the first time I saw you in that beautiful blue-red dress on the... It seems like only yesterday when I first... Ten years ago, I promised I would always love you, and today I vow pledge again what I pledged ten years ago. Everything changed the day you came into my life. I hope it will change again when a new member enters ours our fam i hope we can soon extend our family with the you know how important family is just say you want a baby damn my first step should be to tidy up a bit searching a clean room is easier than searching a messy one looks like someone tore that note apart but i'm missing some pieces i can't make out what's written Do you think I'll get employee of the month if I do a really good job on all of my things? We can only hope, right? Do you think Beth will only kiss employees of the month? Okay, so I got a letter here. Make sure there's nothing. Why can't I just throw away their toothpaste? <laughs> it's a little fucked up. I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. The food's practically untouched. Okay, what can I look at? Hmm. What were you apologizing for? I'm sorry. And were you forgiven? Please forgive me. Oh. oh somebody's sleeping on the couch. Ooh. Didn't go well for them. Mr. Hector Cruz. All fire and life insurance. Protect the dream. Oh no, this is just the menu, huh? And this is the same, the, the list oil. More notes. Beth is calling. Oh, I didn't even look at the room. Mrs. Cruz got her personal information stolen. Is Mr. Morgan behind it? Okay, um... Dear Mrs. Cruz, we wish to apologize on behalf of our company for the privacy breach that occurred on the 25th of September, and thank you for calling it to our attention. We're currently investigating the breach and trying to understand how this individual was able to obtain your personal information. Rest assured that we will put measures in place to make sure the situation does not repeat itself. Your privacy is, and always will be, one of our top priorities. What if, what if SOS 5... See that? SOS 5. 8. Oh shit. I missed a conversation with her. Should I reload? It didn't happen until I was in the thing. Should I reload? It's all good. Okay. Excellent. Someone's been sleeping here. There I we go. It as it is. Beth, I came back for you. Hello. I almost missed the creepy ass. Hello. Beth? It, it, is that you? I 
I almost missed this. It's a good thing I did it. Gotta call Beth. Beth, the weirdest thing just Clarington happened. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth? Sophie? Did you just call me? No, I didn't. Then who called? What do you mean, who called? Someone just called, and they said nothing. All I could hear was static and breathing. Whoa. The creeperama just keeps on going, doesn't it? Uh, hold on. Hey, Archie. Uh, what's up? Give me a second, Sophie. Okay, so turns out Archie here patched a call through to 509 moments ago. Did he recognize the voice? Did he recognize the caller's voice? You think... you think it might have been Mr. Morgan? Yeah. Let me ask. Okay, so it was a man's voice, but he can't be sure if it was our creep. Hmm. Did he notice anything else? He says... He says he heard a faint bell in the background. It sounded like the elevator's bell. So he assumed the caller was one of our clients. You didn't see Mr. Morgan come back to the hotel, did you? No. I understand why you're creeped out, but I don't see how he could possibly know you're in 509. I didn't say a word to anyone. I know. I know you didn't. Can you ask Andrew not to patch any calls here for a while? Huh, trust me, I will. Thanks. I haven't had time to check all of 509 yet, so I better get back to it. Oh, before you go, I have some more info for you. I was going over the details of our little mystery when I remembered something about this morning. What is it? I saw Mrs. Cruz rush out of the hotel, all by her lonesome, not too long after Mr. Morgan knocked over that vase in the lobby. Really? Do you know what time it was exactly? I think Mr. Morgan left around 10, so I'm guessing between then and 5 past 10? Hmm. What? I just... I remember hearing a loud noise on the fifth floor right around that time. Like, a, a door slamming really hard. Do you think it was her? Maybe. Did you notice anything weird about her? You mean, other than the fact that she was walking straight into a snowstorm? Yeah. Well, I've only ever seen her with her husband. It seemed unusual that she'd be leaving alone. But now that I think about it, maybe she was sneaking out. Or following Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Hopefully I can make sense of all of this. I'm sure you will. Call me as soon as you find something. Okay. Thanks for the info. Okay. All right, and now we'll also save here as well. There we go. Wow, you look like a couple out of a magazine. Okay. February 14th, 1948. So it's our anniversary. Which he, he knew because he was writing stuff to her. These oh. pearls, they look absolutely gorgeous on you. Though, I bet you can make anything look good. Uh, sapphic confirmed? Is that all? I have nothing to say about him. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, religious. Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. Okay, I can't look under. All right. This person looking for you back in Texas. Was he really just a coworker? Dear son, I cannot believe you decided to renew your vows so far away from the family. 
Your father and I are very disappointed, and so are your sisters. Montreal, what a strange destination. I would not be surprised if this was another one of your wife's ideas. I met Luciana in town yesterday. She has five children, three boys, two girls, and is pregnant with her sixth. Juan has just brought them that uh, bought them that nice house on the corner of Prado and Roma Ramos. Imagine if you had married her like you were supposed to. You would have your own family by now. Yesterday, I also drove by your home to get the mail. As I was leaving, I met a man who was looking for you. I think he's one of your colleagues from work, but I'm not sure. I told him that you were in Montreal and would be back next week. When do you come back exactly? I hope you can be there for your uncle's birthday party on Friday. I'll make your favorite cake, your mother. Was that man looking for... This man? Because they were in a relationship? Because she doesn't seem happy. I mean, everybody's gay in my head. And everybody had a significant other that that was queer in nature. And I and I, and I promise that. <laughs> okay. January Meeting with John, haircut, bank appointment, wedding, don't forget vows, attempt number 12, rose petals on bed, return to trip. Okay. Wait. All American. Let's close that. We don't want anyone knowing I was snooping. Okay. Um... I don't know what this is, what I'm getting from this. Express, vacation, restaurant, tram. I have a lot of money. Maybe he's not religious, but he's trying to be religious, you know? Trying to pray that gay away. Oh. <laughs> or he's not. <laughs> and I'm literally, and everybody was gay. Okay, I think, I think we're good to go into the next thing. Okay. Just the haunted lesbian hotel? Oh, we can only, we can only hope. There we go. Okay, now did I get everything before I go into the next? Because it doesn't seem... Or he just doesn't want kids. But she didn't seem, like, th that happy in the picture. <laughs> I'll say that. Okay. I'm saving once again before I go into this little room. Okay. information stolen. Is Mr. Morgan behind it? Five eight. SOS. Okay. I'll make this bed. It's very nice. I did a good job. <laughs> oh, you just left it like this, huh? Oh, I can't even snoop. <gasps> Put it all together. Wait, I wasn't done. Don't do this to me. I think I saved right before. Okay, this is fun. Let's get it all the right way. 
And then we can like put it together, you know? Wait. It's music. It's music? Okay, let's start with this corner here. Great job, self. You're doing amazing. Okay. Get, get, get there. Yes, perfect. Okay, any up top? No up top. Okay. Oh yeah, right here. Do the edges. It's like a puzzle. Okay. Swoopy. There we go. Perfect. I've done it. It's some kind of code. Could I break it? Puzzle, but not for long. Oh. Oh, we need to find the, um... Oh, okay. Well, whoa. Well, this... Oh, Wait. these symbols match some of the ones on the torn message. That's one of the symbols. <laughs> An eight, that's one of the symbols. Okay. Look around. To read. Uh, it had wait what? A strange, a stranger in the night. Beast in view. The horizontal man. It had to be murder. Hmm. Yeah. I think these match the symbols on the papers I collected. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think these match the symbols on the papers I collected. Okay. I'm gonna do a good job. <laughs> mm. Shade is really <laughs> striking. I hope that I haven't been able to like open and close things before and I'm just like... I like put it on myself. Oh. Yes, if we know anything from Telltale Games, it's close everything that you snooped in. Not that it will matter, they will know. They will always know. Am I reading this right? The account's been emptied. Oh, wow. February 10th, 1958. Yeah, zero is the balance now, because the it was all withdrawal. The 5,000 was with, with, withdrawal. You don't see someone withdraw five thousand dollars every day. Why is Just that little? What could have made you empty out your entire bank account? Love? Who is this? For love, so I. So the accounts in your name, and the statements tucked away in your jewelry box. That's awfully secretive, Mrs. Cruz. Oh, she's she's gonna she's running away from him. Uh -huh. I'll have to remember these. She's running away from him. I think. She's gonna run away with somebody else. Okay. I think I got everything. What was that? Sorry. Okay. Nothing of interest. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's let's see what this does. It cleans, deodorizes, disinfects for feminine hygiene. Warning. Keep out of reach of children. See back label. How to make solutions. Solutions are easily made since Liz oil disinfects. Mixes res uh, readily with water in all desired proportions. A small bottle of Liz oil disinfect makes two gallons of 1% solution. At, okay. 
All right. Interesting. Birth, uh, pills provide birth control. Development of a contraceptive pill believed to be the ultimate form of birth control was reported yesterday to a group of journalists. The pill was tested among 218 women. Despite reports of some undesirable effects, uh, Dr. Tenenbaum said the pill shows greater promise for the future. Members of the clergy have already, which isn't he part of the clergy? This looks right up Andrew's alley. I wonder if he's read this one. Stranger in the night. She thought she was tracking a killer, but the killer was tracking her instead. Okay. Gloria Gray is an aspiring writer. Her works in a diner by day and writes crime fiction by night. When a series of murders occur uh, across the city, she decides to pursue the killer in hopes of turning her story into a best-selling novel. She meets Hugh, a mysterious young man who offers his help in finding the murderer. But soon Gloria starts to wonder if he is the killer. Read the story that's on everyone's lips before seeing the major motion picture. Is she getting bamboozled? Is she about... Is she about... Is she about to give all of her money to a murderer and get murdered? Okay, hold on. Let me save again. Because I'm... I don't think I have Locked. the combination for this. It looks like the code is made up of... Four letters. Four letters. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. Uh, press any key to enter a letter, or press space to clear a letter. Uh, okay. Um... We don't have four yet. We have eight though. Eight's W. Okay. So let's go through for all the eights. That was the only eight we had. <laughs> we have five, which is zero. Oh good, it does all of them. That's so good. Okay, uh, E is three. Are you an E? Is this an E? Maybe. Tilda is T for Tilda. Of course. Um Do I have G? I have P. Oh I do have P. P is R. This is probably room. Um W, eight, E. Are you an E? I'm not entirely sure. There's a dash, which is M. Oh, I already was. A slash, which is N. Okay. Uh, equal sign? Is there an equal sign anywhere? Yep, S. Um, three, oh, three is E. All right. Do I have all I have? No, we don't have you yet. Six. You? Okay. We don't have X either. W is X? Okay. Do we have a W anywhere? Thanks. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Have I have I done them all? I don't think so. Okay, something notes. Next to your, maybe seven is Y. Um, four is probably I. Do we have H yet? This is probably H. Um, I will. I will. 
do. Something notes in the next to your room. I will leave, probably. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. No, I'm not done yet. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. Hey Beth, it's me. Hey, so how did the snooping go? Find anything? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. A secret code? Well, spill the beans. What did it say? I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. In the vent? Who the hell does that? I don't know. But whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. It was torn in a dozen pieces and scattered in three different trash cans. Ah, so the cruises are keeping secrets from each other. Do you think one of them's having an affair? Hmm. Do we think it's blackmail or an affair? Oh. That's rough. Could be blackmail. I don't think so. It kind of looks like she's willingly going. And with the smutty book. And the bra. I don't know. Like, uh, hopefully this won't... F well, oh. that's possible. It's quite obvious they're having marital problems. What makes you say that? I found an apology note. Neatly folded next to a room service tray. I think Mr. Cruz wrote it. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't mean he's cheating on her, though. Maybe he forgot their anniversary or something like that. I know I'm really bad with dates. Is that all you've got? I'm pretty sure the husband was sentenced to sleeping in the living room. I found a pillow and some sheets on the couch. Oh, yeah. Then he's definitely having <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Mrs. Cruz found out, so he tried to apologize, but she kicked him out of the bedroom anyway. What do you think? Mrs. Cruz could be the one having the affair. I found a bank statement from a secret account of hers. A secret account? Well, that's my guess. It's in her own name and hidden in her jewelry box. But how could she open her own account or withdraw money from it without her good old husband's approval? I don't know. Maybe she had help from a friend or a lover. And that's not all. The account was emptied about a week ago. A withdrawal of $5,000. That's no pocket change. It sure sounds like she's planning to run away. So I yeah. thought, I'll go and have a look at the vent that's mentioned in the message. Just to be sure we're on the right track. Yeah, good idea, Bean. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm about to go on break, so if you need my help again, just ask Andrew to patch you through to the break room. All right, enjoy your break. Oh, I will. I love Beth. I'm in love with Beth. Okay, you solved the secret code puzzle. Could I not have? Okay, I'll definitely save because I definitely want to get that thing open. But I'm hoping that the vents... Can I take those? We'll leave notes in the vent next to your room. Throw that away. I don't want them finding that I put that together. <gasps> oh, it's the consequences of my action. Ah, my butt. Ow. <laughs> my tailbone. Do you have any proof? He broke off their engagement? No, but it's her. I'm sure of it. Now that's enough. You know what I think? Because I hid I the... You wrote I hid the evidence. What? <gasps> absurd. absurd? Earlier in my office, I told you I wouldn't fire Wendy without oh. you. So I think you wrote that message to give me one. Well, let me tell you. I've had enough of your little thing. You don't like Wendy? Fine. You won't be seeing her again. Good. It's 
No, you're gone, Linda. You protected Wendy, which caused Linda to get fired. So long, Linda. Is that achievement I just got? What about us? Us? There's not us. Take your things and leave my hotel. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. She's crying in there. <laughs> The vent next to my, t the next to your room. Where the fuck is the vent? Oh man, she sure is just. Oh, here we go. There's one all the way here. Hmm. I think I have all the supplies I need. Yeah, this has to be the one. That's true. Can't open these without a screwdriver. Okay. If I go down, will it be okay? I could go down, um... Oh, here we go. No, just kidding. There's one in here. <gasps> the janitor also has the note. Huh, this must be Eugene with his daughter. He looks like a caring father. Okay. He also has notes. Oh, another one. Wendy and Shaq have really gotten around. Shoot, no screwdriver. Hm. What's life without a little challenge? Wait. Sophie, you don't need these. Be careful. It's a slippery slope towards becoming a hoarder. Are you sure? Okay. Oh, golly. Okay. Doing a good job. Yeah, you get together. Highest priority, huh? That means Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office right now. Walk away for a second, you get someone fired. Listen, Linda had it coming. She was messing with my girl Wendy. Uh, and my girl. Beth doesn't like her, which is all that matters. Bernard tells me there's a cold draft coming from his window and it's turning his office into a freezer. Fixing this should be your highest priority today. Well, you don't have to worry about Linda anymore. It sounds like Eugene asked Bernard to stop opposing the construction of the new psychiatric hospital. And Bernard was Bernard. Dear Eugene, I was unaware of your daughter's condition. I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you and your wife, but do not worry. You only have to look at my brother to see how rotten apples grow even in the best of families. As for your request, I am afraid I am unable to grant it. Mr. Weston is both a good friend of mine and a benefactor of the Clarington, so it would be inappropriate for me to oppose him. Also, considering his great influence in this city, I have no doubt he'll manage to prevent the hospital's construction no matter what. Thank you for understanding, Bernard. Okay. All right. Shop owners against the new mental hospital. A group of downtown Montreal businessmen and shop owners met with Mayor Sarto Fournier last week to air their grievances. Wait, did I read this? Yeah, I did. William Weston is like circled though. Oh, Eugene, I had no idea. Dear Eugene, a friend of mine has heard from her hairdresser who's heard from her sister-in-law who works as a secretary to the mayor that the city plans on building a new mental hospital right next to the Clarington. Imagine, Denise could get the care she needs while staying close to her home. 
Uh, it's almost too good to be true. I don't dare get my hopes up, but still, I'll keep my ear to the ground and keep you posted as soon as I have more news. Warm wishes, Joyce. Yeah, people who, like, need the help, and they're just, like, they're greedy, and they're like, no, 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 it'll hurt business, though. I don't want them to know I know, you know? I don't want them to know. I know. That you know. Be like, be like Barbara. Barbara always wears appropriate makeup. <laughs> okay. Eugene's a pro at fixing the fuse box whenever there's a power outage. Okay, well here's the fuses right here. Let's see if this like breaks it for me. Oh fuck. <clears throat> it's, uh, Miss Bellevet, isn't it? What? Oh, um, right. Oh, right. You're the one who took last week off, aren't you? You had to, uh, take care of your sister, I think? Mother. My mother. She's, um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. I need to know I can count on you. I understand, sir. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you on break? I could lie. Indicates a lie. Lies may get you out of a tough spot, but be careful you get caught in a lie. No, I need a screwdriver. For what? The light switch is... Well, we just saved. No, I'm just getting a screwdriver. A screwdriver? What for? Um, loose vent. Well, that sounds like a job for Eugene, doesn't it? Yes, you're right. Then leave the repairs to him. Okay, I will. <clears throat> Well, don't you look oh. mischievous. <gasps> hey, Bean. If you're planning to give Bernard a good scare, sign me up. No, I'm looking for a screwdriver. For the vent. Linda asked Eugene to fix Bernard's window. Oh, I see. Eugene? What the hell? You better go and take a look. I'll stand guard by the elevator. And make some noise if I see Bernard coming. Okay, okay so thanks. we did need to go downstairs. I'll be quick. Okay. I will not be quick, actually. I'm going to take my dang time. I have a thousand saves. I'm going to make a thousand more, you know? Listen, the screwdriver's right there. I have priorities. And taste. Okay, check on room 602. Ask Eugene to fix radiator. Call Weston office. Apologize to Mr. and Mrs. Drake for Valentine's uh, ball mishap. Speak with the contractor about cost overruns. Call Weston's office again. Decide winner for employee of the month. I'm, I'm cheating. It's going to be me. I'm going to write my name. And they'll be like, why is this not... Why is this? Wait, can I actually cheat though? I'm gonna steal your fucking pin. I cannot do this. Oh, shit. <gasps> Ew. <gasps> is this Linda's? I'm gonna blackmail him so I get to be employee of the month for the rest of my life here. Look at these distinguished gentlemen. And a young Bernard. <laughs> okay. Kinda wish I worked here when Raymond was in charge. Sounds like the hotel was very different back then. 
Okay, the Clarington Hotel changes hands. Raymond LeDuc retired yesterday after more than 20 years at the helm of the Clarington Hotel, located in downtown Montreal. Founded by LeDuc's father, Fernand, in 1921, the hotel was one of Montreal's most respected establishments until the Great Depression and Fernand LeDuc's death in 1929. Ever since, guests have noticed a drop in the hotel standards. My wife and I used to stay at the Clarington every year for our anniversary, said Mr. Grayson who first visited the hotel in 1925. We've stopped coming two or three years ago because of all the unsavory characters hanging around. My wife was quite afraid. Despite Raymond LeDuc's retirement, the establishment will remain in the LeDuc family, as his brother Bernard is now taking over the reins after many years as the hotel's concierge. Interviewed in the lobby, Mr. LeDuc promised great changes would become for Clarington. A scandalous brazier. It's true. It's quite scandalous indeed. There's nothing else for me to look around in here. Unless there's a secret compartment on the desk! No, no clean. Okay, Mr. LeDuc, my employer has made the following requests. To avoid unwanted attention, his identity should remain secret to both guests and staff. The temperature in room 602 should be kept at exactly 22 degrees Celsius. His dog should be fed the very best roast beef. His room should be cleaned every day at 11.30 a.m. On the dot, eggs should be banned from his room service orders. No one should disturb him between the hours of 4 and 5 p.m. More quests shall follow once my employer takes possession of this room. Thank you. And I don't think I'm tall enough to see. I can just throw that away. Okay. Now I think I've looked at everything. Okay. With this blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. Best to avoid that. Okay, note first, always. Opposing something that could help so many people just because it's close to your hotel? This is ridiculous. Dear Mr. Weston, I would like to thank you again for agreeing to this partnership between the Clarington Hotel and Weston Department Store. Thanks to your generous help, renovations are well underway and the hotel has never looked better. You should come visit soon, when your busy schedule allows it, of course. On another note, it has come to my attention that you have formed a group of local businessmen to oppose the construction of the new mental hospital. After working so hard to elevate the Clarington standards, I cannot allow a band of cuckoos to move in my backyard. Should you accept it, it would be an honor and a privilege to join your fight. Cordially, yours sincerely, Bernard Leduc. Handwritten by Eugene. Enjoy the cold, you cold-hearted prick. <laughs> So, I take it the open window was not an accident. Can't say I blame you, Eugene. Okay. Can I open it again? On second thought, maybe <laughs> some fresh air is exactly what Bernard needs right now. Okay. Let's get you to that vent. <laughs> it's gonna slip and die and it's gonna be fucking my fault, dude. <laughs> hey, what? Listen! He's more fucking, it, like, uh, worried about his stupid hotel that he himself has run into the ground than helping people who need help! It's ridiculous! Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want Eugene to get in trouble though, so... I'll, you know, I'll... I'll do what I can. Clearly your break is over by now. <gasps> no, it's not. I came by here not too long ago, and Andrew was already covering for you. That's because I was in the ladies' room. That's no excuse to... It's my time of the month. I... Uh, I... You're married, aren't you? So, you know how it is. I have to go more often, and... Oh, sometimes I stain the furniture and, and don't get me started on all the- That's enough details. I- Miss Pelivet, 
What were you doing in my office? I was looking for the screwdriver I told you about. He's like, I told you to leave it alone. Uh, I'm gonna lie now. I wasn't... I was... I was simply closing the door. Someone left it ajar. Huh. Must have been Eugene. I'm lying. I'm doing a well, lie. Don't you have work to do? Yes, sir. Then get to it. Uh, Mr. Drake has asked to see you. Again? God, he just can't get enough of me, can he? Just indulge him. Apologize one more time for Friday's mishap. Do whatever <clears throat> needs to be done. We cannot afford to lose such <sighs> loyal guests. Okay, fine. That was a close one. Yeah, I had a few cold sweats, but at least I found what I was looking for. Good. Well, if you need me, I'll be attending to the whims and worries of our entitled client guests. Don't be a stranger. Want to smooch about it? <laughs> it's way easier to do a lie if you say if you don't say I'm doing a lie. Uh, you managed to talk your way out of Bernard's questions. I got that achievement. Okay, cool. Well, it is a 1950s mental hospital, so I don't know about helping. That's true. He fell down! <laughs> Get fucked, Bernard! Oh, there's a door open down there. You know what I must do. I must snoop. Oh. Wait, I gotta find all the little guys. <laughs> we found all three of Wendy and Chat. Uh, you made out. Where? <laughs> and uh, Jacques uh, things, and it was a rare achievement. Bobby made it very clear he doesn't like anyone walking into his kitchen uninvited. Oh, that was a close one. Let's steer clear of Bernard's office for now. Sorry, ma'am. How big did you say your party was again? Is this the divorce thing? I'm throwing it away. Ooh, <laughs> I'm throwing them all it, away. Oops. It might be How did I do that? To... Well, maybe we could I love that I'm taking that. Beth away, so... Chocolate mousse cake. Maybe Bobby wouldn't mind sneaking me a slice. Ugh, no. Bernard would have both our heads. <laughs> Smell. If only we're allowed in there. Sorry, I'm looking for an anti-divorce propaganda, <laughs> and I'm throwing it all away because fuck Linda. I know. Yeah. That's what this is, right? Yeah. Give me a moment. Especially if Beth is maybe married, and maybe she wants to uh, get smooch. I don't think she is though. She'd tell me if she had a husband, right? It's fine. We could run away together. Just as it was always meant How to be. About? Bernard still leaves these around the front desk? Guess he didn't hear Beth when she swore she'd burn the place to the ground next time she had to suffer through one of his sermons. Oh I can't boy. take This really won't be easy. All right, somebody clean the thing. Sorry, Andrew. Not only did I not pick you, but also I let you fall on your ass. Spicy my bed. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. My camera got a little crazy. And yes, I am saving every two seconds. And yes, it's always on a new one. Listen. That's right, say no to say no to divorce. Say yes to divorce. Oh, Jesus. Let's get this one, too. Let's get them all. Any over here? No. 
for doing a great job. Fuck you, Linda. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm free to disturb room 508 now. Yay. Okay, let's go into 508 then. <laughs> I find way too much. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm enjoying this way too much, I think. The Bible. Anything in the garbage can? Nothing. Any bullshit. I want secrets. I want juicy gossip. We're gonna become employee of the month. Well, I'm doing all the snooping and I'm getting all of my work done. I've got the solidest of alibis. Oh, <gasps> scandalous. Hmm. Yeah. Should I throw this away? I don't I feel like I should not. Ew. Ew! I don't want to know! I do not want to know. Wait, it's fucked. It's fucked. It's not fucked. Huh? What do you mean, huh? There was a bunch of... <laughs> what do you mean, huh? <laughs> they have allergies. Okay, alright. Yeah, yeah, they have allergies, I guess. <laughs> We're all just gonna believe that. Oops, why is it bloody? Linda. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. She, she was crying. <laughs> I forgot this was Bernard and Linda's room. <laughs> Jess, she, she, was crying. she was crying. It wasn't weird. It wasn't weird. Linda, my wife will be at her parents tonight, so come by my house at 8 p.m. and make sure you bring the new lingerie. My bad. Why is it like bloody? Linda? Oh, this a. <gasps> Say it on a divorce, eh? Throwing your stupid shit away. The fucking flowers in the goddamn garbage can. That's so funny. No towels needed? Okay, guess I'll I'll clean the scandal away. I'll clean it all away since it's the people and they and. <laughs> we'll just clean it all for the next room. There we go. All cleaned up. Did I open this? Maybe Bernard would get into some trouble if I had left it. But he's kind of, like... He's kind of the person, TM. Like, he owns the thing. Like, who's gonna get in... Like, is he gonna fire himself, you know? Uh, though I did get rid of... Like, if... If What's-His-Face was taking pictures of them... Um... Yeah, you know, you know how it is. I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Okay. All right, so I don't know if I did myself a solid there, but. Oh shit. Okay. All right, I'm saving again for the 40th time. Press. On a screw to place a screwdriver. Oh, we have to do them in order. Oh. Easy. Oh. Nice.
Okay. Alrighty. Um, so, any twos? Well, okay, let's do eight, which is W. Should we check all the vents? Can we, like, check all the vents? Three is E. Slash is N. O is D. Tilda was T. Five is O. Four is I. Equal is S. Oh, I don't know what that is. Six is U. Discuss. Um, so this is C then. Uh, dash was M. Maybe tonight. <gasps> okay. Seven has to be Y, yeah. P has to be R, right? Yeah. Okay. Two is A. Music note is L. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna be on. This is sleeping. Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hello, Bean. Anything new to report? I found, another I found another message written in secret code. What does it say? Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Michael? Who's that? Another husband? I don't know. It's the first time I'm hearing of a Michael in this story. Hmm. Let me check the log. There's a Michael, staying in room 507. Mrs. Beaumont's room? But she doesn't have a husband. She's here alone with... Oh! Michael must be her son. I got him some extra blankets the other day so he could build a fort. Hmm. Could Marcella... Yes? Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> so, what's next? I guess I should go have a look at 507, but it's not on my list. There's a Do Not Disturb sign on the door. Well, I could call the room to make sure no one's there. Good idea. Hang on. Oh my god. She's having an affair with a woman. <laughs> Truly everybody. Everybody's gay and it's glorious. You've got the all clear, Bean. Head on over. Thanks, Beth. I'm I'll trying to keep back. the energy with Beth. You open the vent, Dakota, the secret. Secret second message. It says, meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping when we discuss our plan. Because she's literally, she's taking the money. I thought the guy was like, I don't know. Oh, so that makes sense. She's into her, but she's not into him. Yeah, look at her face. <laughs> Oh, I, I feel you. I feel you. Okay. Okay, hold on. I do need to make sure that, um... Well, I, I got rid of all of her secret codes, so... Should I get rid of this? No, because I already know that it's bank fraud or whatever. So yeah, I'm just going to get rid of those secret codes and I want her to get away with it, you know? I do want her to get away with it. <laughs> we are everywhere. So true. Okay. So he was sleeping on the couch. Oh, damn. I thought it was him, but it was her. I'm so happy for her. Also, we can, like, 
No combination, no entry. We can. Hmm. Okay, so we need to go into 507 now, but we can um, look in people's vents now. I don't know if we're going to find anything, but I feel like if anybody was going to have something hidden in their vent, it'd be this dude, right? Wait, did I not see the vent? Was there a vent in his room? Did I think of somebody else's room? Oh, it's right here. Oh, no, it's not. I have no clue what I was thinking about. It must not have been this room. Okay, I'll just go into 507. It's fine. God, we're... Going in. Okay, now I need to not clo clean this room, even though I want to very badly. <laughs> because I'm not meant to be in here. And like, I cleaned all the other rooms. Okay. Leave it all the way I, I found it. Oh no. Mr. Cruz, huh? Numbers, dates, times. What does it all mean? Hmm, 1824 is circled. Hmm. Okay. Put it all back the way I found it. Cause I don't want to get caught even though I want to clean really bad it would affect me badly oh this shit come on there's something in here you know there is get that bad boy open you almost look like Marcella Almost look like Marcella. Mm. For yo yo inside, Michael. How do I see that? Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. I want them to run away together and be happy. The winds and the leaves that day make a sound that sounded like a sound that sounded like really Anne. The winds and the leaves that that day made the tree whistle a soft melody that came to my ear. I remember every part of this day. Where it was the day we met. Jesus, this is bad. I was looking for my cat when I heard the sound of the leaves blowing in the wind, like a melody to my ear, on this summer day where I met you. It's sapphic poetry, everybody! No, don't clean it. Do not clean it. You want to, but don't do it. That look in your eyes. What does it mean? And who is this from? You don't need to know my name, but you've seen me. I recognize that look in your eyes when you checked in. You and I don't need to make a fuss of this. You keep your wits about you, and I'll do the same. Uh, is is Beth recognizing l lesbian for lesbian? <laughs> Pick up. Is this money? Ah, that's so sweet. I didn't do much, but I'm glad it meant something to you. Dear Sophie, thank you so much for taking care of our room every day and bringing us extra sheets. Michael and I want to give you a little something before we left. Sincerely, A. Well, don't take- it's not yours yet. They're not out of here yet. Hmm. Locked. The key has to be around here somewhere. All right. A belt? A collar? Greta. A cat, maybe? So a husband can abuse his wife and just get away with it? 
And people like Linda still think divorce Don't worry. is wrong? I threw oh. it all away. Don't even worry about it. Uh, dear Anne, I've met with Lewis and he has asked me to give you the enclosed letter. I think I should reiterate that some of your accusations, such as wife abuse, are not grounds for divorce in Quebec. I understand you are hurt, but I do not think antagonizing your husband is very wise at the moment. <sighs> do not forget to be in court at 11 a.m. on the 20th. Be on time. Also, a friendly reminder that my fees for January need to be paid before the end of this month. I'm happy to help you out, but I cannot work pro bono on this. Sincerely, Howard. Okay. Boo! Okay. Funny how some games really stand the test of time. I used to play this with mom all the time. Snakes and ladders. Funny how some games really stand the test of time. I used to play this with mom all the time. Aha! Keys are Snoop's best friend. Okay, I will not be picking that up just yet. Sounds like this is from your school days, but the name of the sender is smudged. All right. Um, dear Anne, you were right. I missed the snow already. Hold on. It's so hot right now in Texas. It's quite a shock after the cool weather of Montreal. My family was never has never seen snow before, and I could not find the words to tell them how beautiful it is. They don't understand what they are missing. I wish I could build my brothers a snowman like the one we built together a few weeks ago. I know it's childish, but I had not had the, that much fun in years. Christmas was exhausting. Nine days of eating, singing, dancing. It, it's great fun, but I am glad it's over so I can rest a little. Of course, celebrations will resume for next year, but it gives me a few days to relax. How are things going with your family? I know you don't get along well, but I hope you're still able to have a good time. I will leave for Montreal on the 8th. I cannot wait to be back. I miss finding black hair, cat hairs all over my clothes. So that's Gretchen, uh, is a black cat. All over my clothes. I miss our late night studying sessions at Harry's. I even miss Sister Miller's classes, if you can believe it. I'll see you soon. Warm wishes. Did I already open this? I did. Okay, key last. Key last. Okay, Michael's withdrawal from school. Dear uh, Mrs. Bercy, we have successfully processed your request to withdraw your son, Michael Bercy, from his school schedule and system under the agreement that you will continue his education from home. Following this letter, you will receive the list of books and school materials you need to purchase in order to follow the curriculum from home. A social worker will be in touch to help you understand our milestones so that your son can benefit from our programs from the comfort of his home. Thank you for thinking of your son's education, Director Donald Beeren. So yeah, she's moving. She's like getting out of there and moving him. The grandma. Oh, okay. Michael. Adults can be so confusing. I promise it's not you. Dad, I'm sorry, but Mom asked me not to tell you the name of our hotel. She allowed me to talk about our room, though. We have two little beds, a radio, and even a television. Mom let me build a fort, and the maid brought us extra blankets. She's really nice. The hotel is nice too, but I miss home. I wish mom and you could be happy, and I wish everything could go back the way it was before, but mom says it's impossible. She says she no longer loves you. Do you think she'll ever stop loving me too? Michael. That's rough. Pass this way on rails to the Midwest. So you were eager to set up a meeting, but didn't want anyone noticing. Hmm. I hope you're well in spite of the circumstances. We've been on the train for two days now. It's a long ride, made even longer by the fact I cannot wait to see you again. We are scheduled to arrive in Montreal on the eve of Valentine's Day. I booked room 509. It's a marital suite. When we arrive, please refrain from talking to me until we can figure out a safe way to see each other. Say hello to Michael for me. M. Okay. So is, you think What's-His-Face a private investigator? And like the husbands had like inklings to what was going on? Yikes. 
Yep, that's a that. <laughs> yep, I throw it away. <laughs> can I? I can't! I throw away his crit. Get fucked. No fun for you. Wait, I gotta look in the bathroom first. Did I read this already? Yes, I did. Ooh, it's pink in there. Cute. He's all but outright threatening you. Oh, I hope you can stay as far away from him as possible. I just met with your damn lawyer. You've got some balls to accuse me of all that. As if you were so irreproachable yourself. Do you think I don't know where you spend your nights? But worst of all is that you won't let me see my son. You won't even tell me where he is. If you think you have a chance to get custody, you really don't know me well. I won't let you take Michael away from me. Wait, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check the... Is it blushing pink or is it red, you know? Ooh, hmm. it's like an orange. A lovely shade of lipstick. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just I'm really nosy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the way it rings. Looks like someone grew tired of looking at your face, Mr. Beaumont. Oh, get fucked. Do not pick that up. Do not clean that. What am I looking at here? The white cat. Do not clean that. Do not clean that. Do not clean that. Okay, I wanted to inspect the things. Okay, I think we just have the key now. Best close this and leave it all how we found it. Okay. Wait, did I look at this? Yes, I did because the name was smudged off. But we know... We know what's going on. Okay. Wait, hold on. Say before I do this, just in case it's... I mean, it's literally giving me all the time I want in the world to snoop, which is, like, real nice. I really appreciate it. How do I do this? Mm-hmm. Oh, do I need two? Uh, I'll need another key to unlock this. Haven't I seen one just like this somewhere? I have? That key looks so familiar. Why do I associate it with room 505? Oh, thank God. She's got... She, she, she's got it all figured out. Enter clues. Huh. Oh! There you are. Uh, with Marcella. God knows where she is. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth <laughs> speaking. Hey, Beth. Bean, I've been meaning to speak with you. Oh, about what? Well, a little birdie told me Mr. Morgan and Mr. Cruz had an argument yesterday evening. Really? Who's your little birdie? Jacques. Apparently it got so heated he had to get involved. And listen to this. It sounds like we were on the right track, because he heard a particular word thrown around quite a lot. Want to guess what it is? Cowbunga. Affair? Affair? Bingo. Hmm. Did Jack hear anything else? From what he told me, it seemed like Mr. Cruz was accusing Mr. Morgan of having an affair with his wife. You're wrong. Wouldn't have expected Mrs. Cruz to fall for a man like Morgan, but I guess the heart wants what the heart wants. Maybe, but that doesn't explain Mrs. Beaumont's involvement with Mrs. Cruz. What do you mean? I found a chest in room 507. I think it can only be opened by turning two keys at once. I found one of them in Mrs. Beaumont's things. Oh, and the other one? Well, I remembered seeing a similar key in one of Mr. Morgan's stocking pictures, so I went back to check. Mrs. Cruz wears it as a pendant. It looks identical to Mrs. Beaumont's key. Wait, so Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz own identical keys that are both needed to open a mysterious chest? Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. Maybe they're just good friends. <laughs> I think Mrs. Cruz and Mrs. Beaumont might be the ones having the affair. That's an interesting theory. 
Did you find any clues that might support this? Yes, nothing concrete. I mean, I did find a letter that suggests they may have gone to college together, but they could just as well be good friends, right? <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. <laughs> I guess we'd know for sure if we could have a look at that chest, but I don't think I'll be able to open it. I've looked around room 509. I would have seen the second key if it was there. Mrs. Cruz must have left with it this morning. Hmm, yeah. We were so close. I can't believe it all ends here. Well, hold on. I may have an idea. Get me a candle and some plaster, and maybe I can do something about that pesky chest. How? I'll tell you later. Just find me those things, and I'll meet you in the basement as soon as I manage to leave my post. All right. Oh, fuck yeah. Thank you for not giving up. Come on, you know I wouldn't let you down. <sighs> I'll close this. <laughs> Listen. Is it is it blushing pink or what was the other one? I can't remember. <laughs> Bl blushing? Oh shit, dude. Okay, so I d I do need to grab. Did I leave everything the way it was? Oh, I already have the key actually. Okay. I think I left everything the way it was. Let's close this so she does not know. We know where the plaster is. What else did she say? Just plaster in the key and meet her down there? Great. This takes care of half of this little oh, scavenger scandals. hunt. As for the candles, doesn't Rebecca keep some in her locker downstairs? Oh my god. You're so nosy. You know who has what in their lockers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, uh. Okay. Let me save. I get every single time I go downstairs, I get very nervous. Okay, I got uh And this one was open, so I'm just gonna keep it open. Okay. How are we gonna have to do some lies? <sighs> oh, what kind of game is it? It's a uh, like a mystery. Somebody earlier said cozy mystery, and I think that that's like the perfect description for it. Who was it? Rose or something? Hmm. The room is open. Is Wendy still crying in here? Well, it's, it's currently under renovation. Oh, I don't mind being in here. It's, uh... Bernard's already moved. Oh God, he is slimy. The job will be all yours. Well, mostly yours. I'd come visit, of course. Really? Hmm. I've never had an office. Before. Oh, he's I interviewing. You've been employed as a governess. I have, but I guess my former employer didn't think I needed one. Oh, I think he may have had a point. No, he's being I slimy. Pretty yeah, of he's being gross. Office would be downright criminal. Well, if you look at my resume, you'll see that. Have you ever thought of working as a receptionist instead? Uh, I don't think that would suit me. Having to smile all day long sounds uh quite exhausting. That's a pity. aside by your best friend like that? Oh, Wendy. That's a special brand of heartbreak. Oh, that's who was ripped out. Where's the picture? Where was that picture? Oh, no. Here it was. I oh, wish Wendy. I understood you better, Yvette. You and Wendy had such a close friendship. Why throw it all away? Hmm. So Yvette was friends with Wendy. Dang. 
Are you still crying in here? I'm good. Oh, okay. Don't have to. <laughs> don't have to go. Alrighty. Okay. Look, I put away the key, man. If you see the freak from room 505 loitering around the hotel, please tell him to stop. Bernard says he's scaring some of our guests, Linda. Bernard asked me to remind you that we have a very important guest in room 602. Please satisfy any of his needs as quickly as possible and without questions. Okay. Uh, from Valentine's Day, please leave chocolates on the beds of the rooms occupied by married couples only. You know, the sin. Hey, people are going to... He's, look, Andrew's fine. He doesn't need us. Uh... Yeah, we read this, I think, earlier. Mrs. Beaumont seemed perfectly nice to me. The divorcee from room 204 has moved to room uh, to room 507, and she wants more sheets again. Sophie, please take care of it. I do not want to speak to people like her. Linda, you suck, and also she's in a beautiful uh, gay romance with Mrs. Cruz, and I'm rooting for them, all right? I'm trying to get rid of all of the... Uh... Where do you keep your candles, Reb? I guess I should check the locker room first. Yeah, but I need my keys back, is the thing. Who did this? <laughs> Who did this? The list oil. <gasps> A free cup of coffee. By Can I just see something? Every penny adds up, Sophie. Look at these drawings. I'm not just by your window. Yes, I've heard. I got it back together! Linda would try to frame you like that. You can't? I mean, yes, I can. That's what I'm trying to say. I I should have believed you. Can you ever find it in your heart to forgive me? I don't know if I can. Oh, I didn't get it back together. I understand. But I can try. Really? Oh, <laughs> I love you so much. Kissing! <laughs> Kissing. Kissing. Have you heard the there's a famous movie director staying in 602? Jay. Yes, I was there when he checked in. I don't know who he is, but he must be pretty important because Bernard was almost licking his boots. He even let the man bring his dogs into the hotel. S. Is he shooting a picture in Montreal? J. I heard he is here on a scout, but I'm not sure what it means, S. Maybe he's making a picture on Boy Scouts? Do you think he'll shoot in the hotel? I hope he does. Imagine, we could meet famous actors like James Dean. Let's hope the director has supernatural powers because Dean is very much dead. What? James Dean is dead? And then it's on the book club thing. The Andrew disrespect. See any of those divorce flyers around? Is our, uh, is our mice running around my feet? Is that what's happening? Is that what I keep I seeing? Gosper. I'm coming back to you. I still haven't learned all of Gracie Jones' secrets. My keys. Gotta hold on to these tight. Okay. This is probably Beth's latest project. It's really cool how she has an eye for this kind of thing. Beth loves fashion, and I love Beth. Coincidence? I don't get fashion, but these are fun to look at. And half the pages haven't been cut out. <laughs> mm. Is that just a napkin? Bobby, you realize it's the person with the lowest scores who wins, right? Uh, it is. Oh, oh. Uh, it, it has come to my attention that several guests have complained about a member of our staff going through their belongings and their absence. This has to stop now. Anyone with information regarding the situation sh should come to my office as soon as possible. I want the person behind this swiftly identified and reprimanded. Should no one come forward within a week, uh, punitive measures will be taken against all of you. Oopsie. I'm just, look, listen, I'm trying to, to clear my tracks here. I'm doing my best. Okay, 
To whoever keeps stealing my lunch, I want my Tupperware back. Susan. <laughs> I'm stealing it. I can't get in the fridge or I'd steal it. I'd steal it so fast. Okay, I think I all I needed to do was like switch out my keys in here and like look around. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just like the same. Alright, cool. Alright, uh wait. Did I remember to punch in this morning? Okay. Hmm. Rebecca? Red candles. So you do have a stash of candles. But where is it? Okay. Alright, the kitchen is out of power again, and I can barely see a thing. Bernard wants us to continue working, but I'm not risking chopping off my fingers for that blowhard. Didn't you start hoarding candles since the last power outage? I remember you saying you never want to be caught in the dark basement again. Where's your stash? Stash, it's urgent. Please, Bobby. Rebecca, the VIP guest in room 602 is getting on my nerves. He keeps ordering food that's not on the menu. We don't usually do special orders, but Bernard was adamant that we make all of his wishes come true. Do I look like a goddamn genie? That's not even the worst of it, though. Every night he barges in the kitchen as if it was uh, he was at home, asking for meat for his precious little terriers. Who feeds dog $4 roast beef? I can't even afford $4 roast beef for myself. Bobby. What is this? Okay. It's locked. Did I? Yeah, I looked at all this stuff. This is fine. But Beth's? Beth's is open now. Hmm. Didn't I find one of these in Anne's room too? The white cat must be a popular spot. Not used. Are you looking to buy land? I know you grew up on a farm. Maybe you're looking to get back to nature. Discover the meaning of nature. Okay. Wait, there's no like clues, right? Sometimes there's clues and I think Wait, I keep missing those. Is this you, Beth? What <gasps> oh, this is Beth. Earth led to this picture being taken. Oh my god. Oh my god. Live alligator? She wants to go <gasps> she wants to go have a farm. I could die on the spot. Does she want to have a Stardew Valley life with me? What if she wants to have a Stardew Valley life with me? I could make that happen for her. Baby cakes? Is that a live alligator? Baby cakes? <gasps> I think I'd die on the spot. Yeah, look. Build a home for your family and earn more than a decent living raising cattle. Oh my gosh. Okay, but I don't want her to know. Are any others, like, weirdly ajar? No. Okay, so we didn't find her stash of candles. So maybe that's why we have to go into the other room? Mm, I'm good. To find her stash of candles, mayhaps? Wait, isn't Rebecca do laundry? Aha, she does. Rebecca, the washing machines are not broken. The problem comes from the pipes. They're completely frozen. It's only a matter of time before they burst and flood the entire basement. I've warned Bernard about this issue last winter, but of course he only cares about renovating the parts of the hotel the guests can see. Behind that nice facade, everything is crumbling. I'll see what I can do, but it's not maintenance we need. It's a freaking miracle. Okay, Bernard is greedy, and I'm glad he slipped on his ass. <laughs> Okay, paper note with funny drawing, red lipstick, T 
250 and loose change. Business card, peppermint, cigarette pack, silver ring, green pen. Oh, movie script, 20 cents, loose change, cigarette pack, paper note. Is this like, are they keeping track of like stuff that's going missing? Or what's up with that? Cause I'm not sealing it. Oh, is this a, a movie script? Change title, not catchy enough. Needs more murder and killer tornado in a northwesterly direction. Why cut out the scene inside the nose? Best part of the script. <laughs> okay. Two sixteen. Okay. Uh oh. I thought this would oh, Jesus. Thought I'd be able to get in there. It's your job to report when others don't do theirs. Yeah. Should I throw it away? <laughs> Should I? Well, but I'm not sealing stuff though. Maybe she's just like buying stuff. Hmm. Where the heck are these candles? Maybe Bobby already took them. Is Bobby the chef though? Is Bobby the chef? Oh, you know what? I think he's got a door over here. Or is this a door I can go through? Let me just try really quick. No, this is not a real door. Okay, I think he might have a room over here. Or he's the chef and I need to go up. here. Oh no, JK. He's doing interviews, isn't he? It's locked. Okay, maybe we save and go upstairs? I closed all the lockers, didn't I? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting paranoid. One sec. Don't you throw stuff out? I have been. I've been throwing stuff out. I've been throwing things away, as I fancy, honestly. Oh wait, maybe it's Bobby's locker that I'm looking for. Bobby? Bobby. No candles, but this looks like the laundry room. Okay. Of course. Oh yeah, this is what I was thinking of. People don't usually leave these unlocked. Fine, keep your off limits. Fine, keep your secrets locker. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're on business. Thought I'd have to go all the way upstairs, but nah, nah, nah. Okay, so it's over here? Oh ho ho ho, jackpot. Stash uncovered. You won't mind if I just take one, right? Got a candle. Now, what next? Okay. Well, nothing. Now we take it back to Beth. No, we meet her in the break room or something? I'm saving. Yeah, she said meet, meet, us in, meet me in the basement. So she should just, like, be down here when I walk out. Yes. There you are. I'm not sure I understand what the plan is here. Well, when I was little, we had padlocks on many of the farm's sheds. My dad would always lose the keys, so one day he made a mold of them using wax and plaster. I was thinking of doing the same. Are you sure it's gonna work? Absolutely not. But <laughs> hey, I guess we won't know until we try. Yeah, you're right. So let's do this. Okay, to start. Oh, I'm doing it. Pour the wax from the pot. Have you done this before? You're a real pro. Now, tie 
time to put the key into the wax. Let's give it a few seconds so the mold really takes form. Okay. Okay, I think you can remove it. Well, we're almost there. Just pour the cup of plaster into the mold. I'm doing a great job. All right. Now we wait for it to dry. How long do you think it's going to take? I don't know. I guess we'll keep poking it every now and then. Hey, you want to kill some time? I bet you didn't think you'd be making a plaster key today, huh? <laughs> Indeed. But I like it. It's rare that this job allows me to use my creative side. Your creative side? Well, granted, this key won't end up in any museum, but I enjoy the occasional artistic endeavor. Like taming alligators? I snooped. Are you going to be mad about that? Like posing with alligators? How do you know about that? Oh, um, I think it must have slipped out of your locker because I saw this picture of you in a long white dress and... Oh my, you did? What did you think of it? I loved it. I loved it, actually. <laughs> it was unique, I guess. Artistic? Yeah. Those pictures were taken by a very close friend of mine a few like years back. Like a good friend? Ziva Rivers was her name. Earth-shattering talent, but a bit too controversial for most people's sensibilities. <laughs> oh. Are you still friends? Are you still good friends? No. We... Uh, we went our separate ways. It's a shame. She... She really captured me. My essence. Your essence is to tame alligators? My essence is to fear nothing. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I really admire that about you. I'm sure under that sweet exterior, you're pretty fearless too. Haven't you ever done something really scary? I mean, other than snooping on a potential creep. Um, does sailing count? Excuse me? You sail? On a boat? I used to, with my grandpa, but when he died, we had to sell the boat to pay off his debts. Oh, that's too bad. I would have loved to go with you. And I would have loved to take you. <gasps> Maybe we can still find a way. Also, the achievement I got was a uh, smooth snooper. Use your snooping to like basically like be smooth with your acolyte. <laughs> okay, Maybe we can still find a way. Maybe it'd be possible to borrow a boat for a day. I think one of Grandpa's friends still has his. Really? That would be great. I just love trying new things. I'll see what I can do. Hey, look. I think it's dry. I can't believe it worked. I could not have done this without you. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> well, I should get back upstairs before Bernard notices my absence. If he hasn't already. Let me know how it goes with the key. Oh, and uh, be careful while turning it, okay? You wouldn't want it to break inside the lock. Yeah, I'll be careful. Uh-oh. Thank you for everything. No problem. That feels like a thing that could happen. Okay. You made a key double with your acolyte. Team building exercise. Yeah, get rid of all that. Easy peasy. Get rid of the crime. They'll never catch me slipping! I even switched the keys. I mean, I don't want that to close and lock me, though. Out. Okay. We save. We save! Even though it's saved a million times already for me. Who's gonna run into me in the elevator that I'm gonna have to lie to? Nobody. It's fine. Oh. Sorry, I thought I saw some... Uh... Anti-divorcing... <laughs> propaganda! Wait. 507. Are 
All right, who I'm saving again. I don't want it to break off. Be careful, Sophie. You don't want this key to break. Let's do this one first. So it's away. Gentle. <sighs> okay. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. It's Greta. It's Greta. <laughs> in Atlanta, I noticed yours was pretty worn down, so I decided to buy you a new one. I hope you like it. And since you enjoy them so much, here's a little puzzle for you to figure out the combination. Two five little words are the key, both related to our history. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Greta, her alternate alternative name will surely take you back. From the first one, take the first two. From the last one, take the last two. Okay, I... Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Whoa, did I just steal that? Maybe you get better. Try to rest today. I'll bring you hot soup after class. Huh. Marcella invited you to the movies. Let me guess. You said yes. The Postman Always Rings Twice is playing at the Low Theater tonight. It's based on a novel I read a while back. I'm sure you would love it, seeing as you like crime stories and murder so much. Nothing creepy about that. Will you come with me, M? I can barely listen to Sister Miller's le uh, lecture today in secret language. All I do is look at your lips and imagine kissing you! I can't wait for tonight! <sighs> Spicy. Fuck, I, I missed one. Jesus, I didn't mean to do that. December 29th, 1947. Dear Anne, I'm sorry it took me so long to answer your last letter. Has it been six months already since I left Montreal? As you always say, I'm not even gonna try. My parents are glad I am done with my studies. They always thought it was a strange idea for me to go to university. Now they want me to find a husband and have children like any other woman. I, I think I will. These past few months, I have I had a lot of time to reflect on our relationship. You know my feelings for you, and I hope you never forget how much I love you. But we cannot hide our heads in the sand any longer. We were lucky our story lasted as long as it did, and foolish to think it would last forever. Our love is forbidden, and hiding it from my family is proving more and more difficult every day. You will always have a special place in my heart, but I believe it's time for us to go our separate ways. You made me feel like a teenager. You made everything but the present disappear. Now I need to be an adult and think about the future. Oh, good. Okay, which one did I miss? Yes, this is the one. Okay, dear Anne, I have just heard Doris Day on the radio, and it made me think of you. I know how much you love Sentimental Journey. Count every mile of railroad track that takes me back. Last time I was in Texas, I felt like it felt like coming home. Now, strangely, I feel away from home. I wish you were here with me. I always feel at home in your arms. I can hardly believe it has been five weeks since we last saw each other. Sometimes I wonder if I might be going crazy. You're always in my head. Everything reminds me of you. Not only songs... On the radio, but silly things like flowers in our gardens that smell of your shampoo. Or when people say the word darling, and I can hear you say it with your lovely French accent. Darling. But family seems to have noticed my odd behavior. But of course, I cannot tell them about you. Even though I wish I could. I feel like climbing on the roof of the tallest building in Austin and shouting my feelings for you at the top of my lungs. God, I sound like a giddy teenager in love for the very first time. Maybe I am. Sometimes I am scared that all this time with you was nothing but a dream. A dream too good to be true. I'm afraid that when I return to Montreal, I will realize you never existed. Or if you do, you don't remember me. I wish I had a picture of the two of us, so I would know for sure if it was real. I long for your embrace and the taste of your sweet lips. I love you, M. Uh, the yearning though? The yearning? A cat named Greta. G R. G 
she are. Alli alliterative? Hold on a second. I can't fucking read. Her alliterative name. Alliterative. No. Okay. It's fresh pair of eyes. It's cold bath time. <laughs> Okay, an alliteration. So yeah, all right. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Oh, I need Beth, Beth on this. Hey Beth, got a minute? For you always, Bean. I opened the chest in room 507. You did? Damn, I have to admit I didn't really believe in our little plaster key, but way to go. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised as well. It's quite sturdy. So, spill it. What's in the chest? A riddle. A riddle? I think it was written by Mrs. Beaumont for Mrs. Cruz. And I think the answer will give me the combination for a case I found in room 509. I could use your help with it, though. Yeah, because oh, God, I, I was reading it wrong riddles. for, like, until two well, seconds ago. let's hear it. Which part is causing you trouble? Well, her... Cause, and then when I read it, like, the correct way, I was like, okay, so, like, literary? Like, H Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> so I was fucking off... The, I was off the whole time. Unlike my favorite bar. Yeah, because the white the white cat bar. It's like, oh, the black cat. Ha ha ha. It's this part. Um, her alliterative name will surely take you back. Alliterative what now? Andrew, <laughs> you're a nerd. Beth is What's me. What's alliterative? <laughs> hey, just because I read books doesn't mean I know everything. Uh huh. Okay, okay. It's a series of words that start with the same sound or letters. Thank you, darling. Did you get that, Bean? Yeah, I did. Okay. I guess I know what to do. I don't. I'm I lying. Think I know what to do. You do? Great. I don't. <laughs> Is there anything else? Nope, that's all. No, nope, that's all. Thank you. Ah, uh, don't mention it. I'm just glad I could be of some help. Call me after you've opened that case. You know I will. Fred. A cat named Greta. G R. Um, uh, great Greta. Growling Greta. Yeah. <laughs> GR has to be the first, right? T. Thursday is the alliterary name. So it'd be A Y? Or I S? Doris? Okay, sure. Whatever. I was thinking, like, the first name and not both names together. That's. But Doris Day was the only name they even wrote in their letters, so. Wow, you solved it. Did I? I was struggling. That novelist, Bridget Boswell, is actually you, Marcella? Okay. Okay, February 4th, 1956. Dear Marcella, or should I say Brigitte? You know I prefer... or Bridget? Brigitte? Brig Bridget? <laughs> I don't know. You know I prefer a good old crime story, but last week I came upon a romance novel with an intriguing title. And they were roommates. I bought it on an impulse at a train station and read it from cover to cover during the journey. Can you imagine my surprise when I recognized our story? We may have changed, you may have changed the names and locations, but all of our moments are there. Our endless discussions in the dorm room, our first date at the theater, our trip to Quebec City. You often said writers are thieves, but I never fully understood until now. It's been almost 10 years since I received your last letter. The letter that painted our relationship as nothing more than a summer fling. At first, I could not believe you had written those words. Then I waited in vain for your answer and had to accept your love for me had never been real. For many years, I was broken-hearted, angry, confused. I questioned the nature of our feelings, of our attraction, and made many wrong decisions. But this book, your book, am I fool foolish to think it's proof you really loved me? In any case, I hope you are well, and I am happy to see you accomplish your dream of becoming a writer. Oh, yeah. Anne. Murder might be a bit much, but 
You deserve some kind of justice. Okay. Dear Marcella, I didn't expect you to reply to my letter, but I am happy to see I was wrong. Your words have comforted me in a time of great distress. If only Lewis was half the man you say Hector is. He has quite a temper and hits me frequently. I'm willing to put up with it as long as he doesn't hurt Michael, but there are some days when it becomes almost unbearable. The other day I dreamt of our first date. We were watching The Postman Only Rings twice again, but suddenly we were in the movie, and you were Lana Turner, and I was John Garfield, and we were both plotting to kill my husband. I hate to admit it, but I almost hope it was prem prem premonitory, pre like, like a premonition. To answer your question, I do still have our box. My brother is currently in Atlanta for work, and I was thinking of going to see him with Michael next month. If you were able to meet me there, we could open the box together and laugh at the silly things we thought were important all those years ago. I hope to hear from you soon. A. P.S. Do you remember that secret language we invented to Sister Milner? So Sister Milner couldn't understand the notes we passed during her class? In secret language. I still do. I do like a happy ending. I just hope that's where your story is headed. I'll cover up your husband's murder. Don't even worry about it. If the 505 creepy man is a hitman here to kill your husband, listen, who am I to stop you? I didn't see a thing, you know? I didn't see a thing and I didn't do it. I left no trace. Thank you for sending me a signed version of your latest novel. I think it's your greatest work yet, but I do have a few comments to help make the next one even better. First, I believe Rose should be more convincing with what she deserves than what her husband deserves. He may not have... He may not deserve the pain she will cause by leaving him, but they both deserve to be happy, and they won't be as long as they remain together, as long as she doesn't listen to her, her own needs. Also, I think it would be great if your novel ended on a more positive note. Imagine if Rose left her husband and rode into the sunset with Eve. Imagine if they went to New York or Los Angeles, someplace where people like us are tolerated. Imagine if they got to have their happy ending. It would be the best story ever. I hope you'll consider it. I know you say invisibility protects us, but don't you just wish to be seen sometimes? Wouldn't you like people to know you are Bridget Boswell, to recognize you on the street, to recognize you for your work? Why not publish your next novel under your own name? Oh, so you came to Montreal under the pretense of celebrating your wedding anniversary, but all along, you meant to reunite with Anne. Dear Mar Marcella, I left the house, I left Lewis, I couldn't take it anymore, I couldn't lie anymore. How do you do it? How do you manage to live a double life? To hide your work and your novels from your husband? I had so much less to hide, and yet, Michael and I are staying at the Clarington Hotel until we find a place to stay, and the divorce is done. I don't know how long it will take. Could you come and see me in Montreal? I really need you by my side right now. P.S. I wouldn't put it past Lewis to scour every hotel guest book in the region looking for me under his surname. So I've registered under the name B Beaumont. Ooh, is he a <gasps> is he a private eye for the awful husband? Okay. After all this, turns out you're a fan of Bridget. Bridget of Marcella. That's a lot sweeter than I expected. Dear Mar Marcella, although you don't know me, I think I can safely say I'm your biggest fan. Your novels have literally changed my life. After the war, I spent almost 10 years in a psychiatric hospital because of panic attacks. None of the treatments were working. Wait, is this the- is this 505? And I wasn't getting any better. I became friends with one of the nurses who started lending me books so I could pass the time. I didn't really like the first ones, but then I picked up the Bridget Boswell first novel. Your novel. I had never read such a beautiful love story. It almost brought tears to my eyes. I immediately urged the nurse to get me more of your books. Believe it or not, the more I read them, the less panic attacks I had. The doctors thought it was their new uh, medication finally working, but I knew the truth. Your novels gave me the courage to get in contact with Lindsay. It is! A friend from the war. I had always felt for him. Lindsay is a boy! <laughs> I was! I was right! It was probably the guy in the picture! I had always felt for him the same way your characters feel for each other, but I had never dared telling him. Now I have, thanks to you. The thought of seeing him again is what motivated me to get better and leave the hospital. I hope to hear back from him soon. Oh, but the mom is, like, cutting off, like, anything happening between them. After my discharge, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. 
I've discovered Bridget was a pseudonym, so tracking you down took longer than I thought. Fortunately, I am a very patient and resourceful man, and I never give up. Do you think we could meet? I have so much to tell you, Paul. Okay, that now that's a little. Bo it's a. It's it's <laughs> it's too much. I'm Dear glad you were able to open up to Marcella like this. Everyone needs someone to talk to. Dear Marcella, thank you for answering my letter. I realize now how unsettling it must have been for you. Please forgive me for tricking your editor into giving me your address. I know I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to thank you as well for your encouraging words concerning Lindsay. I still haven't heard from him, and I'm starting to fear I might have the wrong address. Uh, or address. I wish I could take a trip to a uh, train to Virginia, but that's not an option right now as I can barely pay the rent. I guess I will have to find a job. As a kid, I dreamt of being an actor, a Hollywood star. I know it's fool a foolish dream, but what else can I do? What am I good at? I've tried getting some odd jobs already, but employers turn me down as soon as they learn where I've spent the last 10 years of my life. If it continues like this, I'll probably end up on the street like so many of my army buddies. Why am I even telling you all of this? After reading your books and getting to know you through them, I tend to forget I'm only a stranger to you. I hope you don't mind. You seem to ha be a good listener, and I've been feeling rather lonely ever since I left the hospital. Anyway, please tell me more about your life, and do not hesitate to write long letters. I must have read your previous one a thousand times already. Paul. An advance on my salary. So Marcella hired you. But what for? Dear Marcella, I've just received a letter from Lindsay's mother. She tells me he's dead. <gasps> no! Words cannot even begin to describe how empty I feel. He died two years ago, before I even sent my first letter. He will never know my feelings for him, and I will never know if he could have loved me back. I guess I should have known this would end in pain, just like your novels. I wish I had Lindsay's ability to find beauty everywhere. Even during the war, amidst the death and chaos, he would marvel at the forests of Germany, at the sun, the birds. He loved birds so much. That's why I had the bird book. <laughs> oh, God. He loved birds so much. Birds so much. He could identify them just by listening to their song. I have to admit your proposition took me by surprise. I was hesitant to leave home at first. I was afraid to miss Lindsay's answer, but now there's nothing keeping me here. I'm desperate for anything that will help me forget the pain but I don't have enough money to make it to Texas. Do you think you could give me an advance on my salary? In spite of everything, I'm really excited to know I'm f I'll finally meet you, Paul. Oh, no. Okay, that's, that's, that, that's that on that, right? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So, let me get this straight. Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz are some kind of star-crossed lovers? Seems like it, yeah. But I'm not sure whether they chose to meet here just to reconnect for a few days, or if there's something more to it. Well, I may be able to help with that. Really? How? Oh, some mail arrived earlier for Mrs. Beaumont. <gasps> I wonder what's inside. Hmm. I wonder what's in it. <laughs> we could open it. I mean, that's kinda illegal. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> well, too late. I'm always... <laughs> <laughs> well, too late. So? It's three train tickets. And, uh, oh, there's a tourism pamphlet for California. California? Well, it makes sense. It's much more progressive there than it is here. So, Anna and Marcella want to go there to live their love freely. Anna and Marcella, huh? You three are best pals now? We are. Well, after reading so much of their correspondence, I kind of feel like I know them, you know? Yeah. But what about Mr. Morgan, though? I mean, Paul. How does he fit into all of this? He's a fan of Marcella. Turns out he's a big fan of Marcella. Is she a celebrity or something? Remember that Pulp Fiction I found in Paul's room? Well, she wrote it under a pseudonym. I think her books gave Paul a chance to get out of his own head while he was staying in a psychiatric hospital. Huh, I see. He's still kind of a creep, though. Couldn't he have stuck to fan mail? Stalking her like that. That's 
going too far. And why did he have those pictures of you anyway? I guess we'll never know for sure, but I don't think it was ever about me. It's always been about Anne and Marcella. Exactly. Well, it feels a tad anticlimactic, but who needs drama, right? <laughs> At least it made our day pretty interesting. <laughs> it sure did. You know, after today, I think I get why you're so interested in the lives our guests lead. I try to forget they exist as soon as I'm done interacting with them. But once in a while, it's nice to remember that, well, even the most put-together person could be an absolute mess on the other side of the door. <gasps> and who are you behind closed doors? What about you? Who is Beth Lambert when no one's looking? I like to think that with me, what you see is what you get. But maybe an extra Snoopy super sleuth could uncover a few more layers. Maybe oh. ones I didn't even know I had. Uh -oh. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Come see me when your shift ends, all right? We could leave together if you want. Yes. Sure. If we're able to. With all that snow, I'm thinking maybe we'll have no choice but to spend the night here. A sleepover. We could set up a pillow fort on the mezzanine. A pillow fort? We do work in a hotel, you know. There are actual beds here. I know, but isn't my way so much more fun? Well, we could take a page out of Michael's book and decorate it, and then spend the night throwing stuff at Bernard whenever he comes through the lobby. <laughs> oh, now you're talking. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go. I just have to finish my tasks for the day, and then I can leave. Okay, I need to... I need to close this. Holy shit, do I need to close this? Okay, I think this is my last, like... Fix everything or else sort of deal. Okay. Nobody's been in here but to clean it, and nobody's been snooping through your stuff. Don't even worry about it. Man, I really thought people were gonna keep coming back. But, uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I only have towels, a screwdriver, and my own keys. Uh oh. My thing's stuck. Oh, the elevator's happening. Oh! <gasps> uh, something happened. Something happened! It's just a chill five hours in and something. <laughs> Is Paul dead? Is it Bernard? If it's Bernard, I wouldn't hate that. I think that is Bernard. Maybe not. I touched the gun. I touched the gun. I touched the gun. I don't... He's got something in his back pocket, and he's got- look, I'm already like, I see everything. Mr. Cruz? Oh! <gasps> Mr. Cruz. Oh, well, I don't think she wanted oh to re- Oh god, what happened? Cruz's life insurance policy. Why did he have this on him? That's suspicious. Is this about Paul? Does that mean... Dear Mr. Cruz, thank you for reporting that guest's unacceptable behavior. We will look into it as soon as possible. However, I regret to inform you that we cannot divulge a guest's personal information, regardless of that guest's behavior. As I'm sure you will understand, we are very concerned with our guest's privacy, and our staff prides itself on its discretion. Please contact us 
Should that guess bother you again, yours sincerely, Bernard. Is there anything written on it? Oh, no. Should I get rid of the Paul one? Should we take the... Should, I am touching the body. Should we take one for the team? For... Do you think Paul did this? I can't... I don't know how he died. If it was a gun... If it was a gun, wouldn't he have a bullet wounds? Like an exit wounds? I would assume he got shot pretty close up if he died here in the hallway, you know? Yeah, we just clean up the body. We keep the life insurance on. We get rid of... Paul was creepy, but it, he didn't seem murderous. And she obviously was like, I'll literally hire you. And I don't think she was hiring him to kill her husband. Because she seemed like... She didn't... She was fine with her husband, she just wasn't in love with him. While, like, the other lady's husband was abusive, but she's far away. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm making mistakes. I save right before, though. Life insurance? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> this is all very important. Okay. Let's go. First things first, I gotta see if the gun's still here. It's here. But should I grab it? To like, protect myself? No. I'll do this the old fashioned way. With my fists. Oh god. What was this room? Oh, my very first room ever. Cool. Look at all these Hello? rooms. Hello? Is anyone in? Hello? I... I need help. Okay. Hello? Is anyone in? He got ice picked to death. Oh, is Paul dead? <gasps> the necklace! What's her face's necklace? Mrs. Cruz's necklace! These look like Marcella's pearls. What happened here? The duck tape. <gasps> Enter selection mode. A, B, and Beaumont. Oh, Jesus. What? No, I think that they were... They were getting together. And I think the abusive husband found them. But I think maybe he thought that she, like, his wife was having an affair with the other husband instead of the, <laughs> instead of the. Oh, do not pick up the ice pick, bro. Poor Paul. Lindsay's death really hit him hard. He hasn't been in the best headspace. February 14th. Mont uh, Montreal's much bigger than I had expected. Big cities always make me feel lonely, and that feeling was only excavated by er, this morning by the fact that everyone around me was speaking a language I could not understand. I bought an English to French dictionary at the train station, but I don't think I'll need it after all. English speakers are seem more common in the downtown area, thank God. The hotel is nice. When I arrived, the whole staff was busy getting ready for some big event. It wasn't until I saw Marcella enter the lobby with a flower bouquet that I realized today is val Valentine's Day. Hector and her were gone in a flash, and I was left feeling more alone than ever, wishing Lindsay was here with me. Helping Marcella out these past weeks has been a great distraction, but it still hurts so much every time I think about him. I had hoped the pain would have gone by now. I'll probably need a double dose of Milton to sleep tonight. So Paul just needed to pass the time while Marcella was away. 
That's why he was observing us. Today, I wanted to follow Marcella and Hector out of the hotel, but the sidewalks were so packed with people that I started having a panic attack. I tried taking a cab, and that's when I realized I was at all out of money. It's been a while since Marcella's last payment, and the hotel room was more expensive than I had anticipated. I couldn't resort to selling the camera, so I decided to pawn my victory medal instead. It was hard letting it go after so many years, and yet it also felt strangely liberating. Maybe it's a sign I shouldn't be holding onto the past so much. To fight boredom until Marcella and Hector's return, I started looking at the hotel staff. I heard Andrew and Beth at the reception desk discussing books and movies. They both seem like nice people. I wish I had found the courage to join their conversation. When you look at people all day and they never look back, you start feeling invisible. I noticed that Sophie, the maid in charge of cleaning the fifth floor, seems to share my interest for other people's lives. Maybe I should try talking to her. Paul was hiding out right here. Did he ever find the person who was sneaking out at night? Who's sneaking out of that room every night? The question has been driving me crazy since my first night at the hotel. So tonight I decided to investigate. I found a hiding spot near the ice machine with a nice view of the whole corridor. My camera's at the ready, but there's been no movement for at least three hours and I'm fighting not to fall asleep. No need for Militone tonight. I thought being a, det a detective would be more exciting. Maybe Marcella's right. Maybe it's time I let go of Mr. Spade. 9.45? So Anne and Marcella met here this morning while I was busy cleaning room 504. I awoke around 9.30 a.m. and realized I had fallen asleep sometime in the early morning. I was about to go back to my room when the guest from room 507 came to sit on one of the chairs close by. She's been there ever since, and I don't dare leave my hiding spot in front of her. Marcella joined the guests from 507 around 945. Apparently she told Hector she didn't love him anymore, and he's now convinced she's been cheating on him. That explains why he assaulted me out of the blue yesterday evening and accused me of having an affair with his wife. The guest from 507, I've learned her name is Anne, has just said she might have an idea on how to solve their problem. I'm thinking of revealing myself. But I don't want to anger Mar Marcella. The longer I wait, the more awkward I it will be when I do come out. Maybe I should. Oh, so Paul's work with Marcella was to follow her around like a private investigator. To help her with research for her novel. Oh, so sour. No, I didn't. I didn't throw them away. He's fine. I only threw away the film. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> he might not, he might be dead in the, in, in the ice thing, but he's fine. Dear Paul, I'm sorry to hear you are in such a dire situation. You seem to possess a lot of useful skills, and it's a shame employers cannot see past your medical history. But don't despair. I've been writing novels for almost eight years now. My publisher takes most of the sales revenue, but I was still able to collect a substantial substantial sum of money over the years. Now I would like to use that money to hire you. I'm getting tired of romance novels, and I'm thinking of branching out into crime fiction. As a sort of research, I would like you to follow me around town and take notes of my comings and goings. I'm aware this is a very unusual job, but considering you are able to track me down, I believe you would make a great private detective. In addition to your salary, I would cover all work-related expenses, and you would, of course, be the first to read the manuscript once it's finished. Sincerely, M. Paul really got into his role. Dear Paul, I hope spying on me isn't, uh, isn't proving too exhausting. You've really inspired me so far, and I already have tons of ideas. The trench coats you bought were a nice touch. You look straight out of a film noir. I also start, uh, noticed you started smoking. It's probably another way for you to get into character, but maybe that's pushing it a little too far. You know best, of course, but don't pick up drinking next. At this rate, I should be able to start writing in two or three weeks. Thanks again for your help. He followed Marcella to Montreal even though she was done with her research. Paul, why did you follow me to Montreal? As I already told you, I do not require your services anymore. I'm starting to worry you are taking your role a bit too seriously. You are not a real detective. You have to let go. Uh-oh. Do I pick up the ice pick? I'm saving. Anything I touch here could 
get me. <laughs> Give me the SD card. Oh no, it's film. Give me the. F Hello. Have I just touched it? Is there nothing to? I think I've touched it. Mira, thanks so much for the gifted. Thank you. I can't take the film or anything? Uh, I think I have to touch the ice pick, guys. I think I gotta touch it. I think I, I think I I think I gotta put my fingerprints on the on the on the murder weapon here. Should I hold on to this, maybe? No. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. This is the murder weapon. Why why did you do that? Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. <gasps> my footprints! They're bloody. I'm getting footprints all over the place. My god, dude. I have to get the power back on. Oh no. No. Load. 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 Absolutely not. We're not taking the fucking murder weapon. <laughs> We are not taking the fucking murder weapon. Jesus. Okay, I gotta go get the power back on. Hello? Is anyone in? The fuse box. Just get to the fuse box in the janitor's closet, Sophie. It's not far. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I hope I didn't just leave footprints all the way down. Might need this to restore power. Mm, it's too big. I guess I'll need something pointier. You're, you're. I have to use the murder weapon to open. The Are you sure? Positive about using the murder weapon. Are you are you absolutely positive about using the murder <laughs> the murder weapon to open up the fuse box? Ah! I mean, I think we should probably reconsider. But... Okay, this looks like something I can use to open the fuse box. I think maybe we should reconsider. I think we should reconsider. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's great. Love that it is in my hand right now. Just right now in my hand. Right now in my hand. I have a lot of things on me that I might have to take to the police station. Place cup. This can wait. There are more pressing matters right now, Sophie. Okay. I'm just a little bit, uh, worried. Uh. That worked, thank God. Now, okay. to get the power back. <gasps> it's a Resident Evil puzzle. How did this end up here? Safe combinations. Not much use without the rest of the code. Unless... Those numbers I found in the laundry room... Could they be part of the same combination? Oh... Okay. Oh, these are the rooms. Not much use without the rest of the code. Unless... Those numbers I found in the laundry room, could they be part of the same combination? Uh, I'm sorry, am I meant to go all the way down? Can I get any of them? 38 something, I don't think I can. 768, 501 we could like, try. 29, 53, 50. 502 we could get. Oh no, 502 we can't even. 
Jean, what I would give to have you with me right now. <sighs> Your note will have to make do. If there's a power outage and I'm busy pre uh, preventing another part of this hotel from collapsing, here's what to do. Check fuse box for a required amperage of each socket. Remove all blown fuses from sockets. Tip, blown fuses are usually blackened. Screw in new fuses and socket. Make sure amperage is correct. Um, flick big lever to restore power, Eugene. Is... Is this, is this blackened? Okay. Okay. Press to add new fuses. Okay. Is this one not fucked too? Oh. I don't know. What's the other one? Oh, this one. Okay. Oops. This is not right. What's happening? 15, 25, 30, 20, 15... So this is, so these are 20, <laughs> this is 30, which means this is wrong, <laughs> and I need to put, is A 15? Is this broken? 25, 25. Uh... Did I do it? 15, 15, 25, 25, 30, 30, 20, 20. I don't know, man. Okay. I've done it. Okay, maybe I should, um... God, I sure am just touching this. Because I can't go downstairs without it, but there's also, like, a body in the way. But also... Should I take a picture of this? Like, you, she's remembered literally everything so far. But maybe this time she won't. So I'm gonna take a picture of this. Great. Okay, I'm gonna guess I am gonna have to go downstairs again anyways. Is the body gonna be gone? No, there's still blood. Maybe I need to call somebody? Power's back. Now, I should go down to the lobby. Call the police. Should I? Can I call Beth? Oh, ice pick. Maybe I should put it back. <laughs> oh wait, no, do I just only have the screwdriver now, actually? Man, I gotta get rid of it all. Is there anything I've forgotten? Once I leave this floor, I probably won't be able to come back. Okay. I hope not. We're gonna find out real fast. I did just do a savey. Let's see if I do have the ice pick and I can't, um, place it back on the ground. Oh no. That's fine. And I can't do anything with this? That's wild. Okay. 
put that away. Okay. Guess I'm going downstairs. We'll see. I guess, like I said, I did just save, so like, if I fuck up something and I'm like, oh no, and then the ending is like, oh no, then. Though I guess I, I can't come back. So, the safes then. Are not real. No? Did I close your shit? I closed your shit. Don't even worry. All your shit's all back. Listen, I I did not even leave a trace. Wait, did I just leave a trace? <laughs> Great. Hopefully that was right. <laughs> I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna go for it. Just uh, gonna slide your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm. It better not be Paul because I covered for him. It better not be. Anybody down here? Nope. Is Beth gone too? Oh, cause the shift, I took too long. Service station 22. There's a there's a man dead. He's been murdered. I I need the police. Please stay calm, ma'am. Where are you right now? At the lobby. But the body, it's it's upstairs. Can you give me the address, please? Oh, um 11 1178 Drummond Street. All right, ma'am. Officers are on their way. <sighs> Thank you. I'm, I'm just here to rude. Okay. Hmm. We gotta put this together. We gotta solve a whole murder before they come in. Is this the brochure Beth was talking about? The one that came in the mail for Anne? Oh, Anne and Marcella really are planning to run off together. Was what happened to Hector part of their plan? I don't think so. Why does the VIP want to meet with Paul? Maybe he fell for his role playing and wants to hire him as a private investigator. Okay, um, discard previous instructions. Our procedures guest has expressed the desire to meet the guests from room 505. I cannot fathom what such an illustri illustrious man wants from such a freak, but if you see him, please direct him towards my office. Thank you. Bernard really wants Paul out of the hotel. I've heard more reports on the guest from room 505 and his strange behavior. Following people around, spying on guests, etc. As you are all aware, we have a very prestigious guest in room 602, and I would hate for his stay at our distinguished establishment to be tarnished because of some other undesirable. Is the man from 602 Anne's, Anne's husband, abusive husband? Because he had a dog, and I can't help but remember that they had a dog in the picture. Right? Hmm. And 
And remember, Paul was like, I'm hearing people like scuffle around like behind the walls and stuff, which is weird. So I feel like room 602 might be it. Inform the guest at 505 that he must vacate his room as soon as possible. Invent an excuse if you have to. Also note that from now on, if you can pay, you can stay. Policy no longer applies. Guests who not fit, who do not fit the hotel's new elevated standard, should be denied a room. Dude. Right. Anything else back here? Where is everybody? Oh. Oh, I should have found out what the dude on 602's name is. Because what's his face new? Oh, hey you. Great timing, right? I'm thinking if we're lucky, Bernard will let us go home. No point in working in the dark. Sophie? Bean, you're not scared of the dark, are you? Hey, is everything okay? I found Mr. Cruz. Hector. Oh, you did? What was the bloke up to? You don't understand. I found his body. He's... He's dead, Beth. Oh, merde. Merde. Sit down, okay? You look like you're about to faint. Have you called the police? Yeah, they're they're on their way. But look, what it's happened? snowing. Was there an accident? They're not gonna be able to. We have no, to solve it. I don't think so. Someone did this to him. You mean Merde? Do you think it could have been Anne and Marcella? No. What about Paul? He and Hector were caught fighting. Hmm. The cops will want to talk to you. Know what you've seen. You need to be careful about what you tell them. If word of Anne and Marcella's affair gets out, they may put a label on them that will really hurt them. It might not even matter in the end if they did it or not. I think I know what you mean. It's easier to put the blame on people who are different from you, even if you're wrong. I'm glad you can see that. It makes the world a little safer to have people like you in it. You know, I was barely 20 when I was shoved into a police car for just hanging out with people who made me feel like I wasn't so messed up after all. What? Where did that happen? At a bar called the White Cat. It's supposed to be a safe space, but it gets raided by cops every now and then. I know Anne was caught at least once too. Wait, you know her? No, I've never talked to her, but I've seen her a few times. Marcella and her? They're... They're just like me. And me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for trusting me with this. Maybe now you can understand why I care so much about you. I don't know if I'm feeling inspired by Anne and Marcella, or if it's the shock of being so close to an actual murder, but... Um, I'd really like for us to be more than just friends, Sophie. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, I, I like that too. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's great. Now let's share lipstick. The police is here. Oh, never mind. That can wait. <laughs> Murder, right, Just right. be mindful of what you tell them, okay? Yeah, yeah, of course. I too could get arrested for all of this. I don't think it's Paul, but I didn't- I don't think I- did I find enough evidence for 602 to be the murderer, or do I get another chance? I thought that we were gonna get snowed in and have time. Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Miss Roy! Oh, sorry. I was- Distracted. I was thinking about Beth. I, I mean, really need the you to focus right now. 
I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring. Again and again and again. I thought maybe a child was playing with the doors, so I went out in the corridor, and that's when... That's when I saw him. All the blood and... Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry? You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. Why would I lie about that? Not sure a malfunction, probably. Mr. Cruz's body was blocking the doors. I did move it a little bit, sorry. Well, Mr. Cruz's body was preventing the doors from closing. Really? When we found the body, it wasn't that close to the doors. I moved it. Oh, um, the stairs are blocked because of the renovations, so the elevator's the only way out of the fifth floor. I, I had no choice but to move the body. Just a little. Ah, so that explains the traces we found. Thank you for clearing that up. So, what did you do after that? Well, um, that's when the power cut. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? No. No, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But I thought an ice pick might do the trick, so I went to the ice machine to get one. Hmm. You're a size 7, I suppose. I um, stepped all up in that blood. Yes, I am. Why? What did you see when you went to the ice machine? Lots there of blood. There was blood. A lot of it. Did you touch anything? Yup. I might have touched a few things. Uh... I might have touched a few things, just to figure out what had happened to Mr. Cruz. Of course you did. <laughs> Sorry. Why so many witnesses can't help but compromise the evidence is just beyond me. Sorry. <sighs> anyway, what did you do after restoring the power? I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. And I made out with do Ben. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words i no oh god I'm i don't even i don't you said there's a man dead he's been murdered that's possible what makes you so sure it was murder there's just blood oh <laughs> i got to lie for my job man <laughs> I... I just assumed. What with all the... blood. It just didn't look like an accident, you know? I see. Would you say you're an observant person, Miss Roy? Yeah. I think I would, yes. Good. Then maybe you can help me fill in a few details about this case. I'll do my best. Let's start with the victim's wife, Marcella Cruz. Apparently she left in quite a hurry this morning. What can you tell me about her? Oh my god, why would I say it? I don't really know anything. She just looks like a loving, caring wife. Really? That's odd, because we learned a lot about Mrs. Cruz when we went through her room. And let's just say that loving, caring wife are not the first words that would come to mind. Huh? I didn't leave shit! She's a lesbian, involved in some sordid uh. affair with the guest from room 507. What?! <laughs> Have you ever witnessed them engaging in immoral What behavior? do you mean? What do you mean? I'm asking <laughs> if you've seen them that? Being, you know, intimate. No. I closed everything. No. And did you hear them discuss their deviant ways in front of Mrs. Beaumont's son, perhaps? What? Imagine. What kind of effect how, such How could I get rid of more? The child? No, they were all closed. Everything was closed. Hear anything. Did you hear them express their hatred of men? Did they ever talk about using violence against men? Did you hear them speak ill of Mr. Cruz? Take a stand. Now, now hold on just a minute. 
No, I did it. Now, I don't know what this means. I feel like this is the equivalent of Glassum. I want to deny them doing that, because they didn't. But take a stand, is that like being like, they are lesbians, and you know what? They're wonderful, and I don't want to do that either. You know what I mean? It's fine, we have a save right before this. No, I didn't hear any of that. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. No, I'm sure you are. But we're not quite done yet, Miss Roy. How did I... We've I... learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. What can you tell me about him? Oh my god. I don't know much. Only that... he seems nice. Nice? I wouldn't be so sure. Oh? We found out that Mr. Spade is fresh out of a madhouse. When we called the place, they painted quite the picture of him. Did you ever see him display odd behavior in or around the hotel? No. I mean, we've all got our little I have to throw away we? everything in their fucking rooms. Did he seem obsessed with Mrs. Cruz? A little, maybe, but... Obsessed enough to kill her husband? No. Nothing like that. We all have our obsessions. Me, for instance. I'm obsessed with celebrities and gossip magazines and- You don't seem to understand, Miss Roy. Mr. Spade is not like you and me. He may look like us, but he's not. He's dangerous and needs to be taken off the streets. So tell me, did you ever see him be uh... violent or aggressive? Nope. No, I didn't. All right, then. Can I leave now? Yes, yes, you can. Thank you for your cooperation, Miss Roy. I need to we'll be in touch like, if we I need have to any throw away everything. I fucked up. I done fucked up. I need to throw away everything they have. How did they guess? So you knew Doris Day. <laughs> so, so you knew what that meant then, huh? Like, I closed all that shit back up. Bernard was strangely chipper on the phone. That can't be a good sign. I guess I'll know soon enough. Let's go see what Bernard wants. Oh, gosh. And have it... I just hope they get it... They ha take time to get it right. Oh, boy. Howdy. I did the best I could. He seemed content with what I gave him. Oh boy. The atmosphere is so empty. I guess all bookings are canceled until further notice. Empty. I guess I all bookings are canceled until further notice. It'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens. I can't believe I have to throw away everything this is i was just trying to make it seem like i wasn't there i didn't i didn't know they would have all the passcodes and do all of everything that i did oh go to hell beth hey are you okay i'm out of a job but other than that yeah everything's just peachy what no i, I hope you're luckier than i am Come join me when he's done with you, all right? I'll be questioning my life choices on the mess. What did I do? Yeah. yeah, okay. I thought I was so slick. I thought I was so slick. And I'm not. Why did he why did he fire her? Ah, uh, Miss Roy. Come in. I suppose you know why you're here? No. Is it about the murder? I would guess it has something to do with the murder. Well, you'd be right about that. We've been getting a lot of press lately, and not the good kind. I wouldn't expect you to understand the position I'm in, but I assure you, it's quite uncomfortable to have one's life's work blown away like that. All thanks to some sexual deviance and a nut job. <laughs> It's obvious to me now that I haven't been firm enough. Oh my god. And for guests of such morals to be comfortable booking a few nights here and and, and committing such a horrid act. <sighs> I have, to, I have to throw to away everything. This means 
elevating our standards to the highest possible level, and it starts with the people working here. It starts with you. With me? Yes. From what I've heard, you've been quite the exemplary maid lately. Well... Clean rooms, satisfied guests... I take my job very seriously, sir. As you should. Now that Linda's no longer an employee of the hotel, I'm in need of a new governess. No. Someone diligent and hardworking. Bad ending. Someone who, like me, How did I get the worst the ending? high standards. Now, if what I've heard from Linda and some of the guests is true, I believe that person might be you. So, what do you say? Will you be the Clarington's new governess? Mm -hmm. I prefer being a maid. Comes with a raise. Why can't I say I don't even want this job because my girlfriend... Because <laughs> my girlfriend got fired. Uh, should I prefer to be a maid? He's so creepy with his governesses, though. But I could change things. I mean, I already got the bad ending anyway. I think... I think I prefer being a maid. You do? I like cleaning rooms. It's... peaceful. Well, when there's no murder, of course. Your lack of ambition is quite unfortunate. Mm. But I'm sure one of your colleagues will be more than happy to be given such a great opportunity. That'll be all. That's it? I got the worst ending? How is this possible? Hey. Hey. Oh my god, because I got the worst ending, she doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, what did Bernard want with you? He offered me Linda's job. Damn, look who's moving up in the world. A shame you won't get to order me around, though. Actually, I refused. You did not. I did. <laughs> you should have seen Bernard's face flabbergasted that anyone would choose to be a lowly maid. I bet. The extra money would have been nice, but it's not worth selling my soul to the devil. <laughs> ah, you're quite right about that. <laughs> Did Bernard say why he was firing you? Ugh. He was going on and on about keeping deviants out of the hotel, so <laughs> I may have lost I my I swear, I did... I didn't know they were going to be able to I do all the puzzles. I told him I was one of those deviants he was so afraid of. He froze for a moment, then showed me the door. So, what's Can next for you? I go live you? on a farm? I think I'm done working under Bernard's or Linda's. Maybe it's time I become my own Bernard. Minus the fascism, of course. <laughs> I could see myself owning my own establishment. One that caters to the right kind of crowd. Believe it or not, I do enjoy the company of people. Just not, you know, the stuck-up, entitled clientele of this prestigious hotel. But maybe if I were behind the counter of, say, a bar instead of a reception desk. <sighs> I don't know. Is that silly? No, it's not. In fact, you'd be perfect for it. You're the most charming person I know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad you're in my life. Me too. Hey. Hey. Can I, can I, um, <clears throat> can I do a little... Can I, um, kiss me? Yes. Kiss me? <laughs> I <laughs> Bernard comes in. Sexual deviants! <laughs> Hell yes. I know. <laughs> Secret invasion of the homosexuals. <laughs> oh. I don't want to lie like Anna Marcella. I want to 
I would be with her, but also if you, if you wanted to just be roomies, if you just want to be roommates, that would be okay with me too. But also you did exclaim loudly that you were that deviant and got fired for it. So I feel like maybe that's the vibe. I've been thinking about Anna and Marcella a lot. Should I be jealous? No, not in that way. I've been thinking about what they went through, how they had to lie and pretend day after day. How they had to live someone else's life for 10 years before they could finally be with each other. I... I don't think I could do that. Well, I have good news for you, Bean. Times are changing. It's already started elsewhere. And it will get here, eventually. One day, all the Anns and Marcellas of the world will live happily together, and no one will give a damn. I really hope that's true. It will be. Is that the- we don't even get to know who did the murder? <laughs> That's not the ending, dude. What about the safe codes? And the safe codes? But also the safe codes in the basement? <laughs> they charged <laughs> I'm gonna throw away everything, dude. I thought I didn't know they were gonna do the and the and they knew Greta with the dog, the fucking dog. I'm telling you, it's him. It's him. It's him. It's six o. It's six o two or six o one or whatever. <sighs> and I'm sadly cleaning. I this in my life? What do you mean? Why am I sad? Also easier to go to a bar with my... Oh. I mean, that, that one's good. That one's nice. She got her bar. Can't I just work at her bar? Dude, I left. I cannot believe. I can. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, hold. Just one second, okay? Just hold on one second. All right. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna fucking delete everything. I everything's getting tossed. Everything goes in the garbage can. All right. So what was the the codes about? Okay. Okay. Uh. Anything that makes them think that there's a relationship going on. Okay. Oh, this. We gotta get- we gotta get rid of that. We know that that's- that's no good. That's no good. Uh... This could make her... I don't know. They could think that she wasn't ha like... I don't know, man. <laughs> well, maybe her being ha unhappy in her marriage has nothing to do with... Okay, hold on. Okay, this is... Well, Hector. Get rid of it. She can't... Wait, hold on. What is he again? Life insurance. Hector Cruz. No. I can't take any chances. I can't take any chances. I can't take any chances. It... Oh god, no. That's poetry? <laughs> that That's akin to lesbianism. We gotta get rid of it. Okay. The money can stay there. What is this hidden? But you've seen me. I recognize that look in your eyes when you checked in. You and I don't need to make a fuss over this. You keep your wits about you and I'll do the same. 
Who is this? You don't need to know my name, but you've seen me. When you checked in, you and I don't need to make a fuss. You keep your wits about you, and I'll do the same. Okay, can we just get rid of all of this? Get it all out. It's all gotta go. All the happy memories. They don't get happy memories. Because apparently the police know how to open this little box. I mean, it's, it's all gotta go. Every, every bit of it, man. Wait, except for the one where she's, like, happy with her husband or something. How much I love... Uh-huh. Or always in my head. Nope, nope, that's- that's lesbianism, baby. That's gotta go. Oops. Dear Anne. My parents are glad. They always... You know, my feelings for you. It's all gotta go. They can't have any happy memories. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you would love it. Will you, will you come with me? Is seeing a movie with your bestie lesbianism? I can't wait for tonight. Is the secret code too secret? Do I get rid of it? Hope you get better. Try to rest today. I'll bring you hot soup after class. Do we pretend like they weren't friends at all? I mean, she's literally right here in the picture. Ugh. I have a guy opened. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Dear Anne, you're right, I miss the snow. Okay, I think covering up the fact that they know each other... I don't know if that's... I don't know, I mean, I think they gotta be friends, right? We can't cover it all up, right? Or else they're gonna be like, why is so many things missing? Why do you have this box with nothing in it? Or we could, we could just literally get rid of all of their happy memories together. I don't know, man. Um... Nine days of eating, singing... I miss our night. Yeah. I think th them coming to visit each other is a-okay. We'll see if that is a... Uh, if, if that's a big mistake. Um... Do you think she'll stop loving me too? Do you think- Do you think I gotta get rid of the fact that he thinks his mom won't love him? Please refrain from talking to me until we can figure out a safe way to see each other. No. 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 It's lesbianism. <laughs> <laughs> the guy says not to suffer the blood. Um. Seems like lesbianism to me. Are we just gonna get rid of the fact that they're very good at like, everything? Is the secret code. Throw it away. We gotta keep some stuff, right? Is them being friends okay? Well, she changed her name, though, didn't she? If I just fucking get rid of all of this... How does she not have a single thing in this fucking box? <sighs> how- how is there- how- would they be like, Why did you have that box with nothing in it? That's- that's- that's a- that's a weird? That's- that's a little- that's a little strange. <coughs> Um. Okay, we'll keep that. Try to rest today. M. M could be anyone. We do have to get rid of this picture, though. Okay, put it. Put put the letters back. There's gotta be some letters, I think. <laughs> I think there does have to be some letters. What was this again? I met with Lewis. He's asked me to give you the enclosed letter. 
Okay, we want we want to make sure the the, the all signs point to hus abusive husband. You know. Let's just throw this away. No pictures. No pictures can be found. <laughs> no pictures can be found. Uh huh. Let's get rid of this too. Fuck it. No more. <laughs> he doesn't care. Listen, they might be like cereal. Mm -mm. No, bad mom. Take Michael away from her. Bad mom. Okay. Maybe we throw out the fact that she burned her husband's face off. Wow. Okay, we'll keep the one ring there, I guess. She took it off. Her husband's abusive. That's- This is the story we're- We're weaving. We're crafting. You know? Did she smoke? Actually, in the 50s, a good mom does smoke. So we'll keep the cigarettes. Because actually, that's- That's actually gonna help her case in court. How come I can't get into these? Okay. Sorry. I tampered with everything, but you're gonna thank me for it later. <sighs> also, yeah. Are you saying I've already fucked up? It's already done- it's all- it's fucked? Is what you're saying? Okay. He's writing poetry. That's fine. I can do this. Wait. Okay. 50, 509. Look, I took a picture. I took a picture with my phone. We can guess. 509. 2344 something? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, Jesus. But the thing downstairs, I don't have that. Beth, can you get that for me? I need to get rid of the lesbianism, man. All this stuff is sad, but fine. Unhappy I marriage. Now I should go down to the lobby. Call the police. Oh God. I still gotta kind of leave it like chill. Yeah, we got. We got. We gotta get rid of all the lesbianism. Oh, that's you. You are just rife with lesbianism. Throw it away. Mm -mm. We gotta keep this right. She tells me he's dead. In spite of everything, I'm really excited to know I'll finally meet you. Okay, yes, keep that so that we know that they're friends and it's fine. Okay, cool. With a bra. The bra, that's lesbianism. No, it's fine. Birth control. Is birth control a s No, birth control implies she's being, well, oh, but maybe... Uh, she, uh, she hates her husband, and she doesn't want to have a kid, and she's having birth control. Get it. Take it away. Okay. This is a straight romance. This is heterosexual. This is heterosexual enough. Okay. Little hearts. Little hearts on the old bank thing. I don't think so. Throw it away. Whew. Stressed. What's this? To read. Is reading lesbianism? No. W women in the 50s. Heterosexual women. Uh, to, to a man in the time, illiterate. Can't read. Reading is a sin. <laughs> reading is lesbianism. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, she did get her money stolen. That's so sad, actually. Um, did these drawers have anything? I don't think so, right? Oh, we have to get rid of the lesbianism in the- Oh! No. Yes. <gasps> oh! Does this say what book she wrote?
Like, it's good to know that she was hired. But, like, he says that he's... he's gay. No. No. Absolutely not. Close. Her secret is safe with me. Okay. Close. Okay. Gotta get rid of it all! Okay. Heterosexual poetry, check. Heterosexual romance novel, check. We have this safe we could get into. Somebody might, I might, I might cheat on that one. What was 58 again? Nothing matters with 58. I see more lesbianism over there. There was? We must, we must burn it out. Wait, we need to get, we need to go to, hold on a sec. Okay, um, get, get rid of the, throw away the gay, throw away the gay. This is a little room service nightly. Is this too weird? You're too, you're being too weird. You're being too obvious. Lindsay died two years ago. Uh, it's too weird. It's too weird. Throw it away. Throw it all away. It's too weird. Clean it up. Clean it up. Okay, so I, I see. Um, I could throw away everything and then it's just a map. Hi. E4. Hey, it was more of the thing. I didn't have to guess. But I did. I did guess. But look, her writing's all over the stuff. The lake. Special occasion? Do I just throw it all away or is that weirder? Is that weird? Oh, shit. Westens. I'll just get rid of the stuff with the writing on it? I don't know, man. The lake. What was he doing there? Who could say? <laughs> or, shit, maybe that was like, oh, they're working together, obviously. Oh, no. Now there's nothing there. Is it weird that there's nothing there? Can I just throw away the string? I mean, throw away the whole thing. Maybe this is fine. What's T30? What does that mean? Is that a secret code for lesbianism? We, got, we gotta get it all away. Which safe combination do I need? 509. Well, probably all of them, though. Uh, therefore, 507. Do you want to know? Yeah, because I have to go downstairs and... Um... Do not forget to take your pills. 234216. One second, one second, one second. We'll come back to that. We, we still have some scourging to do. Okay. 23, 42, 16. 23, 42, 16. Wait, can I do it this way? I can't. You ruined my life, you fucking moron. I lost my house, my family, everything, and now you refuse to pay the money you owe me? For years, I gave you my hard-earned money. It was all for nothing. I hope you and the All-American... Burn... I hope you and the All-American burn in hell. 
SW. Wait, S S S W. S W. Women and three children killed in house while fire. Sorry, the Williams. Oh, something Williams. House located on thirty second. Oh, it's coming back. Is a total loss. Four members of a family died in a residential fire last night, according to the police and firefighters. Flames were seen coming from the two-story house by a neighbor at around 3 a.m. It took firefighters about one hour to extinguish the blaze. The bodies of a woman and three children were found in the house. Police identified the victims as Meredith Williams, 32, and her children, Thomas, David, and Sarah. Sarah Samuel Williams, the husband, managed to escape the house unharmed. You ruined my life, you fucking moron. I'm gonna touch this. Wait, actually... What does the thing say? What does that emblem say? Nothing? Where are we? What is this? You ruined my life. Oh, <gasps> He did! Wait. I'm sorry. Is the religious dude like... Should I keep this open? Can they see? Can they see it if it's opened? I'll be a bad maid if that happens, though. So Samuel Williams did it, I guess. Okay. Wait, what is this? Lesbian lesbianism? No, that's fine. Yeah, so Sam killed him? Yeah, I don't know if leaving that open is good, because technically, like, they'll know that I fucking snooped. Can I close it? Will they be able to see it now that it's unlocked? I don't know. Okay, uh, it does 507. Do I need the, um,. Nope, I guess it's just 509. Because 506 is just... Yeah, nothing. I think 509 was the important one. Hmm. Okay. Like, did he- did they see this? I have- I only have 505 and 509. Okay, that's great. Is this too scary? Do I throw the gun away? Buy more film. Okay. Okay, hold on. There was a note somewhere here. Oh, I understand your situation, and I'm sorry that you had to spend so many years in the hospital. Uh-uh. Nope. No hospital. Throw away. Never happened. Never happened. So if I- if I keep the things open... Because I feel like now I know... Hold on. Hospital? That's fine. Look, yeah, he was in the military. Ooh. You don't want to put him away. Is this picture lesbianism? I think it's okay. okay. All right. I don't know about the fucking wall of that. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna take that, honestly. Is this medication? Year of hospital discharge. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. You never got discharged from the hospital because you never went. Don't forget to take your pills. You don't take pills because uh, you're well adjusted. You're so well adjusted. Don't even worry about it. 
Do not even worry about it. Um, look, he's in the military. Wow, impressive. Nope, that's gotta go. <laughs> that's gotta go. Okay. Do you think we're in the clear? Or do you think I open that safe, but then they know I was snooping around? And then, like, they won't believe me because everything will have been tampered with, you know? But I don't know how to say, hey, man. I done, I done my best. I done my best here. How do you get back there without standing in the blood? Oh, my footprints are already all up, all up in there, so I might as well just go. Uh, why did you fall? Okay, this one's bad. This one's bad. This one's good. This one's fine. Wait. Wait a minute. He talked about his medication. <laughs> but this is, seems so important. My camera's at the ready. That's why he assaulted me out of the blue yesterday. Thinking of revealing myself. Oh god, nope, this has gotta go. It's gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you think his camera has pictures of the lesbianism? Gotta get rid of that. Anne was never here. I know. I mean, the, the camera will- oh. Shit, nope, throw away that too. Gonna get rid of that. They were never here. Only whoever got murdered. Whoever got murdered, murdered man. Somebody else's poop press. Yeah, I mean, I have walked all over the place. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I can save. I might have thrown away stuff I shouldn't have though. But it'll be on a new one, so it's fine. Like, should I go open that safe, or will they have that information? Because they'll know, they'll know. They just will know. Hold on, I need to close this. Everything closed? Wait, is this... No. It shouldn't be complex to do? Okay. Letting her son leave a yo-yo outside of the door. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see how it goes. It might be bad. We'll see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You want to know the one, one last thing? Uh, is it too late? I feel like it might be too late, but sure. Other things at reception. Oh, okay. Is this the brochure Beth was talking about? The one that came in the mail for Anne? Okay, well, it's got to go. That's running away for lesbianism. So Anne and Marcella really are planning to run off together. Was what happened to Hector Ugh. part of their plan? Bad news, I'm throwing your tickets away. <laughs> Bad news. I'm throwing your goddamn tickets away. Bernard is telling lies. Oh, okay. Throw it away. 
Brochure, tickets, and a letter. Okay, yeah, that's all that's here. Okay, yeah, okay, yeet it all, yep. Throw it all away, all lesbianism. Okay, I'm gonna say I can go now. Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Miss Roy! Oh, sorry. Hi, don't put me in prison and also distracted. find the right person. I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring again and again and again. I thought maybe a child was playing with the doors, so I went out in the corridor, and that's when... That's when I saw him. All the blood and... Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry? You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. Well, Mr. Cruz's body was We have to pepper in closing. some truths, you really? know? When we found the body, it wasn't that close to the doors. Oh, the box um, is already open. The stairs matter. are blocked Please because of the renovations. The so the elevator's the only way out of the fifth floor. I... I had no choice but to move the body. Just a little. Ah, so that explains the traces we found. Thank you for clearing that up. So... What did you do after that? Well, um... That's when the power cut, so I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? <laughs> no, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But the box wasn't locked. Isn't that unusual? Mm -hmm. Well... Maybe Eugene forgot to lock it last time he used Let's it. Let's pin it on Eugene. Hmm. Or maybe someone tampered with it. Did you go near the ice machine at any point today? Oh, no. Well, I didn't get the ice pick, so I guess it doesn't matter. No. Are you sure? Yes, I am. What shoe size do you wear? Not shoe seven. Size? Um, seven. <laughs> A box. Why? Well, we found size seven footprints near the ice machine. I just thought they might be yours. Oh, but that's not an uncommon shoe size, though. Actually, I'm size seven, Is it? so. <laughs> no, it's not. So, what did you do after restoring the power? Hmm. I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words. He's been uh, murdered. <laughs> no, I'm afraid I don't. You said, there's a man, dead, he's been murdered. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? I'm very obs- 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 But then I'd be snooping around. Am I still lying? <laughs> Mr. Cruz received some death threats. But then how would I know that? Death threats? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I know. Well, I know about Mr. Cruz's angry customer. The one who sent him death threats. Oh, yes, we found those. But the customer in question lives back in Texas, so there's no way he could have killed Mr. Cruz. And anyway, how do you even know about that? Well, he told me himself. We're very close, me and Mr. Cruz. I'm actually really broken up about his <laughs> and I start sobbing. Mr. Cruz told me the other day. <laughs> really? Was he in the habit of talking about his personal life with hotel maids? Um, I really can't say what his habits were, but he... He seemed to like me. Hmm. Then maybe you'll be able to answer one or two of my questions. I'll do my best. Let's start with the victim's wife, Marcella Cruz. Apparently she left in quite a hurry this morning. What can you tell me about her? Nope, don't know anything about her. I don't really her. know anything. She just looks like a and loving, she's no lesbian there. Wife. You wouldn't be trying to protect her, would you, Miss Roy? Because now's not the time for misplaced female solidarity. No, no, I'm not. Hmm. 
Let's try something else then. <laughs> We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. What can you tell me about him? Nope. Uh, who could say? You know, I'm only in the the business of talking to one person. That was Mr. Cruz. I don't know much. Only that he seems nice. Does he? Hmm. <laughs> it's very. Uh -oh. Odd. Was it the board? Both Mr. Spade and Mrs. Cruz are prime suspects in this case, and yet we have very little evidence on either of them. It's almost as if someone has cleaned up after them. That's so weird. I really hope I'm wrong, though, because if I'm right, that would be obstruction of justice. Yeah. And the people or it would be. person responsible could face very serious consequences. But hey, I guess we'll know soon enough. Whoever did this is a sicko and uh, lesbian and also probably so nice and charming and has a beautiful girlfriend and <laughs> is, can I mention smart and intelligent? But a sicko, for sure. No, <laughs> who would do that? <laughs> Bernard sounded really dejected on the phone. Oh my God. Time to see what that's about, I guess. Okay, wait, I'm gonna save before this because if he gives me the option to be like, you were a great maid. The atmosphere is so different in here. It'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens. She won't lose her job though, so wouldn't oh, like be- Go to hell. Oh, no, nope, it's bad. She, hey, she's gonna be a bar are tender. Are you okay? I'm out of a job. But other than that, yeah, everything's just peachy. What? Do you what? You're out of a job. No. Uh, I hope you're luckier than I am. Come join me when he's done with you, all right? I'll be questioning my life choices on the mezzanine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <sighs> but can I quit and tend the bar with you? Oh, right. Uh, come in. So, I, uh, I suppose you know why you're here? Is it about the murder? I would guess it has something to do with the murder. Well, uh, as you may be aware, the hotel's reputation has taken a solid hit. We've been mocked and ridiculed by the papers. It's, it's truly humiliating. And that's not even the worst of it. With a story like this, guests may not flood through our doors again for a very long time. If ever, I may have no choice but to sell the hotel. Oh, uh, yeah? Years of arduous work gone down the drain. She's so interesting. <sighs> Anyway, it's clear now that we're going to have to tighten our belts for at least a couple of months. Which means cutting off dead weight. Me? I suppose I'm the dead weight. Yes. I mean, not you specifically, but <laughs> some of your colleagues certainly are. From what I've heard, you've been quite the exemplary maid lately. Clean rooms, satisfied guests. I take my job very seriously, sir. As you should. We'll see for the future, but for now, you'll be allowed to continue working here. Thank you. I'm not done. The police have finished their investigation and left a mess on the fifth floor. I want you to clean it up. You want me to go back there? Yes. Perhaps. Why not? I found a dead body on that floor. I'm, I'm not going back. I'll make this simple for you. If you don't do it, you're fired. You can't fire me because I quit. No, listen, I am... I, I want to quit because I want to do the bar, but I want to go no. Like, right? Like, if I go if I go clean it up, then I'll know more, right? Can I save? Fuck. I, I saved. I'll go do it. We'll see. I literally saved right before this. I... Okay. I'll take care of it. Good. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Get to work. Oh, uh, now? Yes, now. Finding a good ending no matter what. That'll okay, be cool. all. 
Cool. I gotta know. Oh, did I already clean it or? I gotta, I gotta go smooch my girl real quick. Hey. Hey. What a week. <laughs> yeah. So, what did Bernard want with you? He wants me to clean the mess on the fifth floor. What? Unbelievable. Oh, he's such a jerk. Yeah. I wish I would have stood up to him, but I really need this job. I know you do. Uh, no. No, I'm nosy, did and I want... Bernard say why he was firing you? Oh, well, he's been itching to get rid of me ever since he took over from Raymond. Now that he's hellbent on cutting expenses, it was obvious I would be one of the first to go. So, what's next for you? I think I'm done working under Bernard's or Linda's. Maybe it's time I become my own Bernard. Minus the fascism, of course. <laughs> I could see myself owning my own establishment. One that caters to the right kind of crowd. Believe it or not, I do enjoy the company of people. Just not, you know, the stuck-up, entitled clientele of this prestigious hotel. But maybe if I were behind the counter of, say, a bar instead of a reception desk. I don't know. Is that silly? No, it's not. In fact, you'd be perfect for it. You're the most charming person I know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad you're in my uh... life. Me too. Can I kiss you? Can <clears throat> I? Um, kiss me? Yes. I thought you'd never ask. Sapping whispering. That was... I know. Lesbianism. Okay. Okay, don't worry. I don't even want to. I just want to... I want to be out in the open with I've you. I've been thinking about Anna and Marcella a lot. Should I be jealous? No, not in that way. I've been thinking about what they went through. How they had to lie and pretend. Day after day. How they had to live someone else's life for ten years before they could finally be with each other. I... I don't think I could do that. Well, I have good news for you, Bean. Times are changing. It's already started elsewhere. And it will get here, eventually. One day, all the Anne's and Marcella's of the world will live happily together, and no one will give a damn. I really hope that's true. It will be. <gasps> What's, going What's on? he doing here again? Let's not make a scene, all right? A scene? What the hell's going on? Beth, it's okay. I warned you where obstruction of justice would get you, Miss oh. Roy. So here we are. You're under arrest. Oh. What? Am I under what? arrest for lesbianism? This is bullshit. <laughs> oh, shit. You can't do this. Sophie, we'll get you a lawyer. <laughs> It'll be okay. It was the lesbianism, wasn't it, damn it? <laughs> Fuck. They saw me smooching. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dead end and gone. Thanks for your actions. No one was sent to prison and the police. They stopped. They didn't get the re they didn't get the right person. Oh, thanks for your actions, Paul avoided prison prison. Okay. L look, listen. Thanks for your actions, Anna and Marcella avoided prison. Nice. But they're still being watched by the fucking abusive husband! Oh, never mind. JK. Oh, they, look, they're ending so happy! Am I in prison for lesbianism? <laughs> I need to know! They're 
so cute though. With no deviants to blame for his failures, Bernard gave the hotel back. I, I didn't fully come up. I guess to somebody else. <gasps> I'm in prison! <laughs> the be this bed you made! You tampered with evidence, got caught. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> Roll credit. But it's okay. I got out, baby. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> I got out, baby. <laughs> I went to jail for lesbianism, but I'm back out. <laughs> and I'm ready to commit more crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I don't know why. The bodies of a woman and Oh, did I not click children. on this? I, I guess I didn't. I read it, but I guess I didn't read it. Ah. My first room? Oh, the three. I thought they looked like they were burnt. I was going to say that in the very beginning that the stuffed animals looked like they were burnt. Oh, shit. Close that. Close that. Close that. 504. Oh, shit. I didn't even... I mean, I did, but then I completely forgot about it because it was at the very beginning. The guest in 504 is a man staying alone with three singed teddy bears. Does that mean what I think it means? Is SW here at Car Carlington? And if so, is he the one responsible for Hector's fate? Power's back. Now, I should go down to the lobby. Okay. Call the police. Was if you got all the stuff? Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Pocket. I'm sorry. I got it. I already I'm did sorry. that. I'm so sorry. See, nothing in the pocket. Those butt cheeks. Nothing. I, I do wish I could um skip these cutscenes a little bit to get to the things. That that is my only thing. But I guess if I hadn't uh fucked it up, it would be fine. What about Paul? He and Hector were caught fighting. I also found a letter from one of Hector's customers. He seemed really angry. I guess it could be him as well. Hmm. The cops will want to talk to you. No. Know what you've seen. It was actually 504, the first fucking room I cleaned. Tower. That's crazy. And I was literally going to say, I don't know, maybe I did say it. I was like, hmm, these teddy bears look really like kind of burned, but I don't think I did say it actually. What did you do? This time I got the ice pick well, and I stepped all up in that blood. That's when the power And those size sevens, so they I had to were go to the mine. janitor's closet. To actually. access the fuse box. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses. So I, I guess you'll have a little bit on. more on me for uh, but there's a uh, obstructing on that the truth. Box, so. isn't there? If I'm going to go to jail, I'm going to go to jail you? on my terms. No, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But I thought an ice pick might do the trick. So. I went to the ice machine to get one. I mean, hmm. said you was the killer. You're a size seven, I suppose. Um, I don't yes, hate I that am. though, actually. Why? <laughs> what did you see when you went to the ice machine? There was blood. A lot of it. If they did, you touch it. If they sent me as a killer, that's just another ending we get to see. No, nothing. No, no, nothing. That's weird. It sure looks like someone poked around uh -oh. the crime scene. That's so weird. Oh, well. We'll know more once the finger oh, no, no, comes Oh no, shit, in. I'm going, Won't it's gonna be me. <laughs> uh oh. So, uh -oh. what did you do after restoring the Actually, I am going to do <laughs> I took the elevator down to the lobby. Oh, that's so weird. That's where I called the police. Do you remember what you said? It was me, operator? I did the it. exact words. I did the murder. No, I'm afraid I don't. You said, there's a man dead. He's been murdered. That's possible. All they have to do is check what my, like, little so sure main cart, and they'll find all of the evidence. Well, I know about Mr. Cruz's angry customer. The one who sent him death threats. Oh, yes, we found those. But the customer in question lives back in Texas, so there's no way he could have killed Mr. Cruz. Actually, I think he may be staying at If I go to jail for murder, have do you, you think that's all right? No, no. <laughs> In room 504, do you think she'll let me use my one phone call alone. on her? Or do you think she'll Yet be done with me if I go to jail? Three for teddy bears in this room. <laughs> Mr. Cruz's customer lost his oh. three children in a fire, and these bears are slightly Shit, burnt. Shit, this was different. Sorry. So, 
Hmm. An interesting deduction. I'll look into that. But how do you even know about the death threats? Mr. Chris told me the other day. <laughs> really? Was he in the habit of talking about his personal yep, life? Yep, but nobody else was. Minutes? So weird. Uh, I really can't say what his habits were, but he... He seemed to like me. Hmm. Then he maybe you'll be able to answer choose. one or two of my questions. I'll do my best. Let's start with the victim's wife, Marcella Cruz. Apparently she left in quite a hurry this morning. What can you tell me about her? She's a lesb uh, she's a lovely woman and I know nothing about her. <sighs> I don't really know anything. She just looks like a loving, caring wife. You wouldn't be trying to protect her, would you, Miss Roy? Because now's not the time for misplaced female solidarity. No. No, I'm not. Hmm. Let's try something else then. We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. What can you tell me about him? I don't know anything. I don't know much. Only that he seems nice. Does he? Hmm. It's very odd. Both Mr. Spade and Mrs. Cruz are prime suspects in this case, and yet we have very little evidence but on either of them. I just gave you who it was. It's almost as if someone has cleaned up after them. That's so weird. Am I going I to jail? I really hope I'm wrong, though. For because if I'm or right, murder. that would <laughs> yeah, be obstruction tell me which of one. justice. And the people, or person, responsible could face very serious consequences. But hey, I guess we'll know soon enough. All right. And I'm quitting my job this time if I'm an, a good maid and I don't, um... Yeah, I'm quitting. And I'm going to jail. <laughs> Bernard sounded really and I'm dejected. Saving, because I have a million saves, and it wasn't enough. Time to see what that's about, I guess. Okay. It'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens. Ugh, oh, go to hell. Beth. Wait, you hey. still love me if I go to jail for murder? Are what? You okay? Hi, how are I'm you? I'm out of a job. But other than that, yeah, everything's just peachy. What? No, I... I hope you're luckier than I am. Come join me when he's done with you, all right? I'll be questioning my life choices on the mezzanine. Yeah. I'm going to go quit my yeah, job okay. because I think I'm going to go away for some time. <laughs> I don't think money's going to help me where I'm going, Beth. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, come in. She doesn't always get fired. Oh, it's okay. I think she's happier at so, the bar anyway. Maybe I, uh, that's wishful thinking. I suppose you know why you're here. I would it's about the murders that I maybe I'm gonna get arrested to do for doing. The murder. Well, uh, as you may be aware, the hotel's reputation has taken a solid hit. We've been mocked and ridiculed by the papers. It's it's truly humiliating. And that's not even the worst of it. With a story like this, guests may not flood through our doors again for a very long time. If ever, I may have no choice but to sell the hotel. Okay. Just years of arduous work gone down the drain. Mm. <sighs> anyway, it's clear now that we're going to have to tighten our belts for at least a couple of months. Which means cutting off dead weight. I suppose I'm the dead weight. Yes. I mean, not you specifically, but <laughs> some of your colleagues certainly are. From what I've heard, you've been quite the exemplary maid lately. I clean too clean well. Rooms, I might be going to jail for it, guests. actually. guests. I take my job very seriously, sir. As you should. We'll see for the future, but for now, you'll be allowed to continue working here. Thank you. You can't fire me. Done. I The police Wait. have finished their investigation and left a mess on the fifth floor. I want you to clean it up. You want me to go back there? Yes. Why not? 
I found a dead body on that floor. I'm... I'm not going back. I'll make this simple for you. If you don't do it, you're fired. Can't fire me. I quit. You can't fire me. <laughs> because... Because I quit. <laughs> I won't need a job sure. where I'm going. I fire you. You quit. It's all the same to me. Just make sure to empty your locker before the end of the month. That'll be all. Hmm. Yeah, me and Beth might uh, do a smooch right before I um, go to jail for a long time. <laughs> we'll see about it. Hey. Hey. What a week. <laughs> yeah. So, what did Bernard want with you? Well, he was being kind of a jerk, so I quit. You what? I quit. I figured there was no point in staying if you were leaving. I appreciate the solidarity, but you really didn't have to do that. I think it's for the best. Did Bernard say why he was firing you? Oh, well, he's been itching to get rid of me ever since he took over from Raymond. Now that he's hellbent on cutting expenses, it was obvious I would be one of the first to go. I never. <laughs> so what's next? For I you? always want to know I that she's gonna I'm have a bar or something. Under Bernard's or Linda's. Maybe it's time I become my own Bernard, minus the fascism, of course. <laughs> I could see myself owning my own establishment, one that caters to the right kind of. Beth, crowd. will you love me in prison? Believe it or not, I do enjoy the company of people, just not, you know, Beth. stuck up entitled clientele of this. Beth, are the right clientele town. people who go to but prison for a long time for murder? if I were behind the counter of, say, a bar instead of a reception desk. Will you write to me? <laughs> Longing. Is that silly? No, loving letters. Not. In fact, you'd be perfect for the it. The yearning You're we the could do from prison. person I know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad. The yearning, Beth. Me too. The poetry. The letters. Can I... Um... Kiss me? Yes. I thought you'd never ask. You might want to put some tongue in there because it might be a while before you see me again, Beth. That was... I know. You might want to make it last. The, the yearning the the yearning i don't want to lie i wouldn't be out there but also in prison I've been thinking we might not have the choice should i be jealous no not in that way i've been thinking about what they went through how they had to lie and pretend day after day how they had to live someone else's life for 10 years before they could finally be with each other i I don't think I could. But do we that. might have to, Beth. Well, and if we had to, I don't know, wait you, Bean. ten ish Times years. Are changing. It's already Plus. started elsewhere. And it will get here eventually. One day, all the Anne's and Marcellas of the world will live happily together, and no one will give a damn. I really hope that's true. It will be. Here it comes. What's he doing here again? Command arrest for lesbianism or murder? <laughs> You'll have to tell me. Let's not make a scene, all right? A scene? What the hell's going on? Beth, it's okay. It's okay, remember the I yearning. I warned you where obstruction of justice would get you, Miss Roy. So here we are. Okay, You're well, under arrest. Obstru what? Obstruction isn't murder, Th so. This is bullshit. Not Beth, it could be worse. You can't do this. No, no, Beth, it could Sophie, be worse. we'll get you a lawyer. It'll be okay. Okay. <sighs> God. I'm going away for just a little time, not a long time. I told you, kiss me with tongue, it might be a bit. Yeah, I'll wait for you. There we go. Nice. All good.
He did not get his happy ending. But... I get so, like, scared for them, but then, like, no, they're on a beach. It's so fine. Lesbianism! Yeah! Why did she get arrested? Because I cleaned up the murder scene. <laughs> you know, how one does. So that the lesbians can escape. And the gays can escape. Look, I, I went to jail for just a little bit of time. It's fine. I'm fine. I got someone out there waiting for me. I'm waiting for you, baby. I'm waiting for you, Beth. Hey, look. Beth is waiting for me, too. It's fine. She got me a lawyer. The, and now, look. It was a little bit, but the tongue is back. And it's better than ever. We only had to yearn and write letters for a little bit. Yeah. So, that was this bed we made. We did make it we made it a lot this game Aaron thanks so much for the 100 bits for lesbianism thank you yes for lesbianism this game was mm, the VIP was Mr. Buma the ex-husband that I knew it was too and I knew it was because he had a dog this game was tailor-made for me and I feel like I guess not me alone thank goodness um big zoomy uh, I love snooping. Um, I love looking around and putting pieces together. I also like little tasks they give me, like I liked making the bed and cleaning the tub in this game. Um, and also I love, you know, I love the lesbianism. I love the gays. I love smooshing girls as a girl. Me and Beth, that was great. And I love that every, every single room we went in was gay <laughs> there was lesbianism or there was gay and like it was just like everybody on the fifth floor and us it was great it was so funny i liked it a lot hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next week's video bye